All right. Welcome, kings and queens. Are y'all ready to talk reality television? Specifically, Love and Mira Tunsville. Are y'all ready to sit down and have a real grown up conversation? I need a one in the chat if I'm coming through and my audio is clear. Um, a few seconds ago, I was having some tech, uh, technical issues with my audio. I just need to make sure I'm good. All right. Well, I see you all in the chat, and I see Lala says, Queen Sheba, we are ready. Yes, ma'am, We, I am too. We are ready to go. And I really hope Carson pulls up tonight because I have questions, y'all have questions, and the people want to know, right? This is way, th this thing has grown legs. It has become a shit show unnecessarily, and we're going to talk about it. Now, listen, we're grownups. Things may get heated. We may disagree, and that's perfectly okay. We do it all the time, but we can disagree respectfully. Now, let me give you the layout and the rundown of the show. I'm just opening up right now, and what I would like to do if Carson decides to show up is I have my questions ready. I am going to ask my questions first, okay? Go through my questions really quick. And then for any bloggers that are in the chat, I would like to bring them up second to ask questions. Now, this is not going to be a sermon where you come up and you lecture her. Only if you specifically have a question. And I will allow each person one question. After she responds to the question, um, if I feel like she's done a great job of responding, I'll go to the next person. If I feel like there's a little bit of room for dialogue, I'll ask you, do you want to push back or would you like to dig a little bit deeper? At that point, I've opened up the floor for you to ask a second question. Okay. Same thing applies to bloggers. Same thing applies to uh, my uh, panelists that are members and also uh, subscribers. So I'm going to, if she comes up, I'm going to go first. Then I'm going to open up the line for bloggers to come up first. After the bloggers have come up, then I'm going to open the general line for everybody else. Okay. Y'all got it. Y'all following me. One question. If I feel like she's done a good job of answering your question, I'll go to the next person. But if I feel like Carson is kind of doing the funky two-step, I'm going to ask you, you want to push back? And at that time, you can say yes. Can you explain A, B, or C? Y'all got it? All right. So I'm going to see if she's going to pull up, child. Cheers, because I am ready. I got my champagne ready. And I told y'all I have come prepared. So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Salud. Salud. I'm going to give her five minutes. Because, of course, you know, the show must go on. If for whatever reason Carson decides not to pull up, that's perfectly fine. We're going to do the same thing we normally do, and we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it playing in the palace, and we'll talk about it. We'll have that discussion. All right? So give me one second. Thank you. Thank you. Anonymous says, I'm looking all right tonight. Thank you. Cheers. Bridget Owens, thank you. Damn Pam, I know you've been waiting all day. And I got your question, damn Pam. And I will, actually, you can come up and uh, ask your question, damn Pam. Everybody. So let's just see. Um, but in the meantime, give me give me about 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds, okay? Let me, let me get my dogs out of here. Okay, I'm back. So what do you think? You know, as we wait and see, if not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the link in the chat. We're going to get this show started. I'll give Carson a few minutes, a few seconds, but if not, we, we must move on. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I'll go ahead and drop the link in the chat. I just want to know, 
I'm going to invite you all to come up. We don't have to go bloggers first. We don't have to, there's no particular order right now unless she comes in. Okay. What are your thoughts? Hold up. Is that Carson? She pulled up y'all. Hold up y'all. Carson Blue is in the damn building. Hold on. She actually pulled up tonight. Are y'all shocked? Come on, Palace. Are y'all shocked? Are y'all ready to go? Do you have your questions ready? I'm going to open up the floor. I'm going to welcome Carson. Remember, it's perfectly okay to agree to disagree, but we do so respectfully. It could get heated. It can be a very tough conversation, but just know if you push, she may push back because we're all grown. So um, I'm just going to welcome. Give me one second. Let me give me one second. Hold on. Let me make sure I get everything right. I want to do this right. Hold on. Let me make sure. That's Carson. Hold on. I am going to welcome Carson to the stream. Okay. Yes, Carson. <laughs> you deserve that, girl, because you pulled up and you didn't have to. So cheers to you, queen. I hope you got a cocktail ready because we got over 400 people in here that are waiting to hear more from you that are probably waiting to uh, ask you questions. Okay. Welcome. How are you feeling? I, I kind of want to call you Carson Daly because your <laughs> name has been in the headlines daily. How are you feeling? Pretty good. And I just want to be clear, y'all. I've decided that this is the only one that I am going to do. And then I'm done with this after today. I am not speaking with any bloggers. I am not trying to do a press run. I'm to be honest, I almost wasn't gonna pull up because I'm just like, what more could they want from me? I've uh, Mel already said what she said. I said what I said, but I said, you know what? I saw a couple other bloggers say, if she don't do it, we still gonna have questions and then we'll start speculating. So she should at least do it. I was like, all right, do Queen Sheba's. And I'm done. All that. right. So we respect that. Everybody, this is a one and done. Yeah. Um, I, I will tell you this. I'm going to go first because I have my own questions okay. for Carson. However, if you use that super chat feature, your question will trump my question. Otherwise, you got to wait for me to get through. You got to wait for other bloggers to come up. And also, you 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 got to wait and hope that I pull your name and, and when I drop the stream. So if you want your question to prioritize my question, Y'all already know to pass that offering, uh, that offering plate. Carson? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm manners first. Okay. Tell us a little bit about who you are outside of this Love and Marriage Huntsville saga. Okay. Tell us about who you are, a little bit of background about what you do and how you came to find yourself in the career path that you're currently on. Okay. So um, when I go by Carson Blue and I am a hairstylist and yes, so just so we're clear, I lived in Detroit, majority of my, I would say my teenage to adult life, but I am from San Bernardino, California. I saw some of y'all looked me up, said I was a liar, that I'm not from Detroit. I am, if Detroit is all that knows me, but when I was a baby, yes, I was born in California. Um, So I cater to, I do with, geez, y'all, I'm so sorry, I keep me in text. So I do cater to women who, are going through things like they're either losing their hair, cancer patients, like things of that nature. A lot of my clients, they have to get real hair pieces to look as natural as possible because they have lost all their hair or they have chosen to take it all off for whatever reason they have. Um, then I also do cosmetic wigs, uh, wigs for some of the people y'all have seen on TV, of course. Um, and what else? Oh, and I just, I've been living in Huntsville now. It's about a year and a half at this point. So um, I am opening a luxury salon here. It is All still right. dated. It's going to be the hottest. It's already nice, but it's about to be the hottest salon in Huntsville. So if y'all want to come check it out, feel free to come check me out. What part of Huntsville will your salon be located in? For those for yeah. those local in the surrounding communities and yeah. metropolitan area. So tell them a little bit about where they can find you once the salon is open. So it's Northwest Huntsville and it's on Wynn and University Drive in this little plaza. It's directly above Mr. Rugby's or Rugby's. 
which I guess is like a popular bar here that's been here forever. So I am directly above Rugby's. All right. So when do you anticipate your grand opening? God willing, because I, I got all custom everything, custom furniture. It should be here. They said 30 to 45 business days. This is what they're saying. So Sorry, I'm, no delays. July 4th, though. I'm pushing for July 4th to have a huge grand opening. I want to give away hair, give away wigs and everything. I want to DJ. It's Y'all don't know me, but I'm a little over the top. So it's going to be an extremely nice grand opening. If you guys are in the local area, please feel free to come by. I will have all type of paid promotions. So y'all should be able to know about it or y'all hopefully y'all know about it. Are you, will it be like a one woman show with you as the primary stylist or with it? Do you have suites or boots available for other stylists and maybe barbers? And if so, how can they contact you if they're interested in working or becoming um, a, a, a stylist in your salon? Okay. So they can DM me. I mean, well, they could DM the business page, which is blue label hair. Um, it's called blue label hair studios, or they can, email me. Um, my email address is on the website. It's on the business pages. You can Google the business and you should be able to, it should pop right up as well. So yeah. And I'm looking for three other stylists aside from myself. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Are you, you feel like I'm warming you up pretty good? Yes. <laughs> I have not done this type of, so I'm not used to this, but that's yeah. okay. You're in good hands. Uh, you're in good hands. Mm -hmm. All right. So it looks like uh, uh, Taisha Williams, thank you for the super chat. I think you were probably meaning to uh, ask a question. So if you were meaning to type in a question, go ahead and put that question in a chat and I'll make sure we get you taken care of, Queen. Let me ask you something, Carson. I got two questions for you and then we're about to jump in. Okay. How did you find yourself navigating to the uh, hair industry or, or just becoming how, the cosmetology field? So uh, in high school in Detroit, we have an actual, it's called a, a vocational program, Votech. So I was going to Southeastern High School, which is where I graduated from. And then I was able to take the hair program um, at the Votech, which was at Crockett. So okay. mm -hmm. I've All been right. high school. So I'm going to start with this question because this was going to be my next question. Miss Main Event says, why Huntsville? So give us a little bit of back, about, uh, give us a little bit of background of mm -hmm. What made you relocate to Huntsville? What was your reason? Okay. So I had my twins in 2018. I have a set of twins. And I experienced postpartum depression extremely bad. I mean, it, it was like a really dark, dark time for me. So the postpartum depression lasted about two years. Ooh. And I was talking to my doctor and everything. And I was trying to figure out, you know, we were trying to just get it under control. And I realized, like, I need to leave Detroit. It's not a family-oriented town. It's extremely dangerous in Detroit. I was robbed at gunpoint before in Detroit. It was just getting worse in Detroit. I have four children and a family. So it's like, well, a husband. I'm talking about a family, duh. But and a husband. So it's like I wanted somewhere that I felt was more safe. I had a friend. Her name was Sade. She moved down here and got married. And when she came to Alabama, I was like, what would make you go to Alabama? And she actually told me, she was like, no, it's not like what you think. It's a lot of um, like black educated people here. They are this, they have that going on. And I'm like, what? She's like, you should come visit. You know, you just get out the city, come visit us. So I came down here, my husband and I, we came to visit. And I actually fell in love with the people here. They are different then up north, they were very welcoming and warming. Like everywhere I go or everywhere I went, I had to have a conversation for at least 10 minutes with a complete stranger. It was crazy. So oh, wow. yeah, it was really different. Like a lot of the people that I've met here and you know, it, it's, they have been so opening and welcoming, but that was really what made me say, and I, that actually sealed it right there for me. I was like, you know what? I need to leave because when I was here, I felt at peace and I felt good. And then in Detroit, I, I just viewed it. It's just dark. It still was just dark for me. So I wanted to leave. Well, congratulations to you because Thanks. postpartum is real. And I think a lot of women struggle with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's unique to us because a lot of times we are the matriarchs of our family and, and we, we develop this 
all or nothing attitude and, and we show up, mm-hmm. you know, um, in spite of how we're feeling. So thank you for sharing that. I think that's a, that's a very, uh, important piece of your story. Yes. And hopefully that helped you a little bit miss main event. Let me go to the next question because they're trumping my questions. <laughs> okay. So T talk with your girl wants to know how long did you work for own or were you associated with own? Um, and was she, how long were you associated with own and Arion at the time when you connect the dots mm-hmm. between Arion and own, give us the time frame before, after, in between. Okay. So I don't know if you guys all saw my live where I posted the time frame of how long I knew Ariane. The last time Ariane and I spoke was October 25th, 2021. Okay. First time I did Tisha's hair was July 5th. So I got hired by- July, what year? July 5th of what? 2022. Okay. So six months? Yeah. Okay. So, six, so that means- I had not spoken with Ariane for six months at that time. Okay. That I started doing uh, Letitia's hair. Okay. Mm-hmm. The moment you started to do Letitia's hair, from that moment, six months after your last conversation or your last encounter, be it a text with Ariane, mm-hmm. when was the first time you walked on the show or had uh, been invited to the show? The, the show, the tea party was when I was invited to come on the show. And when, what month was that and what year? Oh, oh, geez. I do not want to tell the wrong thing. That was was cold or hot. Do you remember? That was just recent. It was cold, but that was still recent. Um, They just filmed that not too long ago. Right. I don't know. I want to say that was a few weeks ago. Like, oh, I don't want to give the wrong date because I. That's okay. That's okay. You don't have to be precise. Was it it 2023, January, February? Yeah, it had to be. Maybe maybe that episode was uh, filmed in february okay yeah so so october so got uh, october november december january february so um i'm gonna say about 16 months you all about 16 months between the last time she spoke with arian plus or minus until she made her appearance at the tea party all right mm-hmm. tea talk with yay but plus or minus so you got to give it a little bit of flexibility let's go to the next question queen jaja i hope i said it right she said, uh, she hear that your husband was being interviewed by a YouTube creator as well. Is that true? Let's let's go yes or no. Is that true? Yes or no? No. Okay. And if so, by whom? So it's not true. So there is no whom and why. And there is no why. And she also heard that your mom already lived in Ville, Huntsville before, before you. Is that true? Yes or no? So yes, but no. My, okay. I, Mother went through an extremely bad divorce. She was living in Atlanta. I was already moving to Huntsville. So hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold Take on. Take your time. Y'all go play in Tiny Town, please. I am talking. There's no reason for y'all to be down here. Thank you. It's okay. Tiny Town. Hold on. It's Tiny Town where the kids should go. Yes. I yeah. love it. I, I, I love my, it. A real play area. It's on my page. <laughs> it's up like a town, literally. Um so I was moving to Huntsville. My mom was fully aware of my postpartum depression. She was going through an extremely bad divorce with her husband. So my mom, she works remote from home at Comcast. Her and her husband, uh, their lease was up where they were living at in Atlanta. So, Well, her ex-husband. Their lease was up in Atlanta where they were living at. So she was like, I might as well go ahead and head to Huntsville. So I found my mom an apartment down here and she was here, I want to say a month. My mom came here in August and then I got approved for my house September 19th. So yeah, my mom was here a couple months before me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So her mother had a real life event occur and her mother arrived about 30 to 60 days before she arrived. Yes. So however you want to, perceptualize that or read into that. That's the, that's, that's what uh, she's offering to the question. So it looks like we have no more super chats. I am going to go to my questions now bear with me because I have a very direct style of communicating. Um, But if anybody poses a super chat, it will trump my question. I will stop my question and take their question before mine. Okay. 
my first question to you, and feel free to take a sip if you need to. Right. <laughs> right. My question, okay. Yeah, so my first question is the million dollar question that we've been seeing all over social media. Why now? Why did you decide to come forward with what you knew? Okay. Are, is, are regarding you Martel's alleged plot, twisted plot to attack Melody. Okay. Why now? So this is the thing, as I said, as I've been saying this whole time, basically when that show aired, when the, from the episode that I was in, I was not aware that there was a video alive that was recorded of Ariane and I, which I still feel is very coincidental that it just went out there once the episode that I appeared on was shown, right? So as I said, I, I vividly remember September 19th, I showed that in my live that day, that a fake page named Bruh Nisha wrote on Tisha's page, something along the lines of how did you squirm your way? Oh wait, I have the, I have it right here. Okay, they wrote on Tisha's page just saying like, how did you squirm your way into doing Tisha's hair? Let me go to it. So you're Stop. reading this and this looks like somebody feels like you got an opportunity that they did or you squirm your way onto a television show, Bingo. which made you think what? It made me think this has to be Ariane. At the time, I immediately said, this is Ariane because I said nobody knew we were cool, at least at that time to my knowledge. I'm like, nobody knew we were cool. Y'all, I'm getting so many, what's it called? So I, I need to turn my the phone off. That's okay, do you? Okay. So, not interrupting your uh, stream, so you're fine. So I've, like I was saying, nobody really knew we were cool. We were only cool or acquaintance for a very short time span. So I'm like, we weren't even cool. I didn't even move here, just so I can be clear. I got approved for my house, September 19th. My lease wasn't up in Detroit. They want to know what year, 2022. That's what they're asking. September 19th of what year, 2022, 20, 2021. 2021. All right, there we go. Uh, anonymous. Okay, go ahead. 2021. Okay. That post that I'm talking about, about Bernicia, that happened in 2022. You get what I'm saying? The last conversation Ooh. I and I had was October 25th of 2021. So I gotcha. Within six, I mean, we, we had not spoke to each other already six months before I even start doing Tisha's hair, right? So then now at this point, it's September 19, 2022. It's almost a full year. If not, you get what I'm saying? Well, no, it's not because I spoke to her October 25th. That's but okay. It's almost a full year and no one, not one time, you know how the mellow meters are. They don't miss nothing. Not one time from me posting Tisha all those times from Tisha posting me all those times, did anybody ever say, oh, that's Ariane's friend? Or weren't you and Ariane friends? Not one time. Hold and up. Mm -hmm. Are you insinuating that based on what you put two and two together, are you insinuating that Ariane may have leaked some information to someone that, hey, this chick in this video, fill in the blank. Yeah. Of you and so, of your family. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry that people are still sending me stuff. So, yes, I, I'm. I yeah. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't seem to say I'm insinuating it. I believe that to be Ariane. Like I said, nobody knew. No one knew. And then this fake page writes this, and it was just the content of what they said. How did you squirm your way into doing Letitia's hair? Weren't you all on your friend Ariane's live? Now, when I reread it just recently, it said your friend. Ariana's ah. dogging Tisha in them. Now, I know y'all done all went and watched this live by now. Not one time, if y'all go back and watch it and open your ears, not one time did I dog any of them. I never said any of their names. So it was just like, I'm like, what? I, first off, I would just never do that. I'm a hairstylist. I'm not even about to put myself in a position to be speaking on people's relationships and or, or not even speaking on a relationship, but speaking directly about people or saying their name on a live with someone. Let so, me ask you this. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of jumping all over the place in real time. Mm -hmm. Throughout your connection with Arion, did she ever share her feelings or her thoughts regarding Tisha and them? No. Oh, wait a minute. 
how would have she ever shared her feelings or thoughts? Her thoughts towards Tisha and them, who whomever them is, but will you feel like she was coming at you or could have possibly been her allegedly on this fake page? Wait, can you reword your question so I can make sure I understand? So when you're looking at this Bernicia page, okay. and you're saying there's specific words here that makes me think there is a possibility. This could be Arion. Mm -hmm. She's saying Tisha and them. She's saying squirm your way on this show. Mm -hmm. Based on what you can recall, has there been a time that she's ever vented about Tisha and them? No, she's never. The crazy part is she's never said anything really about Tisha and them, like bad about them. The main thing that she used to say to me is they're always talking about me. They're always talking about me. That was her main thing was that they always talk about her and there will be no show without her and things of that nature. And that the show wasn't really real and it was all for entertainment. Basically, that's what she was giving me. So I don't I wouldn't say she was she's ever dogged them, at least not to me. Now, the things that I've seen. Recently, with when they, she was talking about linebackers and stuff, that I didn't know her then. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't speaking with her anymore or talking to her. But back then, that's all that she was saying. Did she ever express to you that she had an interest of coming on the show? No, she never... needed to come on the show to clear her name or anything, anything within that arena. I will say we had a conversation because, like I said, she told me back then, like, she was tricked or manipulated. She was young. She didn't know he was married. And I do kind of remember saying to her, like, you really need to tell your side. Like that was back then. I'm like, but she seemed so remorseful. She was not giving what she's been giving us lately. When I met her and she let me know, like when we met in person and we sitting at that bar and she's telling me what's going on. She broke it down and she only let me know because like she said, she's like, you're married and I just don't want you to think I'm like that. She came off genuine and really sweet. And I'm not going to lie. I felt bad for her. I genuinely felt bad. So I'm like, dang, older guys do take advantage of younger females. Like that's where my mind was back then. You get what well, I'm saying? She's never said anything that you because she said it to us <laughs> like but i'm just saying so you're her right now y'all she's always said to us publicly that she should be on the show they're using her likeness did she ever mention any of that to you no she didn't say okay that. what she did just like only thing that she used to say is they're always mentioning my name there would be no show without me and all that type of stuff okay my next question is you're on the show the show airs as you're thinking about who you are, what's going through your head, what made you say, I need to share this with Melody? Because I never saw the live. And when somebody asked me that on my page, they were referencing the live and they sent it to me. Well, I don't know if that person sent it to me, but it, it came to my DM. So okay. I'm like, oh my goodness. I went and watched the live. I wanted to hear what we were saying. And then I saw, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm not. I'm really not saying anything. I literally was saying stuff like they were asking, why do they keep discussing them? And I'm like, well, if the show didn't have any drama, it would be boring. Shows, reality TV shows without drama are quite boring, in my opinion. That's what I said. And then um, I know something I said, like, as far as Ariane's side need to be told. And I'm like, you do need to tell your side. Because mind you, at this point, I'm only going off of what Ariane said. You get what I'm saying? You do need to tell your side because no one knows that you've been tricked by this man. Like that's where, that's where it was at as far as with me and her back then. So, okay. So, okay. Gotcha. Cause you felt like there was some relatability to her being tricked and you felt like, well, listen, it's only fair that if people are running with the narrative, I don't want to put words in your mouth, that if you do get the opportunity, you need to tell your side. Am I, yes. am I, am I summarizing that correctly? Yes. And not okay. necessarily on the show, but just period. Because to my knowledge, at that point, she had never said anything or told anything or she wasn't saying anything. Like I said, if she wouldn't have told me she was the mistress, I wouldn't have knew she was the mistress. You get what I'm saying? She wasn't openly talking about it back then. She never had said anything back then. Okay. Let me, because I got to, uh, let me ask you this real quick. And then I got to go. I'm, my, my questions are being trumped. Actually, let me follow my own rules. Because I yeah. said I was stopped. Let's go. All right. So <clears throat> Fruit Gummy Queen says, how is your mental health doing with everything that has happened in the last few days? Where are you in your headspace? Okay. Um, honestly, I'm fine. 
I'm okay. Uh, it was becoming a little bit draining because at the end of the day, if you're telling the truth about something and you have everybody saying, she's lying, she's lying, or she's making it up, it's like you're kind of like, why would I want to just make this up? Like, who's this messy that they would create a lie about someone? So when it was, when Melody confirmed, like, no, I know it's the truth because this, this, that, and the third, it kind of brought a little more sense of calmness to me, which if y'all paid attention to my post, I was like, I have a feeling that y'all are going to retract y'all statements soon mm -hmm. because I had already knew that it was true. You get what I'm saying? I knew I was just going to give y'all the facts of what I had, give y'all the timeline. But for the most part, it wasn't getting to me as much. The fans weren't getting to me as much mm -hmm. as some of the bloggers were. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's fair. Well, let me, let me say this in all fairness, based mm -hmm. on what Arion shared with you that, um, that Martel allegedly wanted her to do regarding creating a disruption in Melody's life. And you were like, Oh my God, can you understand why the fans would easily believe that people lie all the time? Wholeheartedly. I actually understood why it looks so bad. That's why I was saying I was never mad at the fans. If you guys are the viewers, you only have what you have. Y'all don't know how it works behind the scenes. So because I'm doing Tisha's hair, it's looking like, oh, excuse me. She's Tisha's friend. She's, they're all against male. You get what I'm saying? When it's really a professional client to stylist relationship. Gotcha. My own network. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. not what people think it is. Take a second. Mm -hmm. a, babe, will you bring me some more champagne, please? <laughs> I want to give you a second because this is a lot. Actually, we're going to take a 30 second break. Give me one second. Carson, I just want you to be able to catch your breath. Okay. I'm going to have a second. Y'all, we're just going to take a quick 30 second break. First of all, let me say you are doing a good job. Thank you. Because you're completely like a fish out of water. Yes. And I'm coming back on camera. My husband's just, I don't want him to be on camera. That's you're okay. doing a you're doing a really good job. So Thank let's you. pause in that. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Mm -hmm. This is not what you do. No, it is no. not. It's perfectly okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you answered this question by Clarissa. Oh no, Clarissa. <clears throat> Clarissa wants to know. <clears throat> That was spicy, what I just ate. <laughs> I call myself having snacks. That was spicy. Clarissa says, Carson, when you said that Martel had a control over Arion that made you think her mind was gone over him, can you explain why that concerned you? Please elaborate. Okay. Um, well, just being a woman... I don't think any woman would ask somebody's opinion or what they, or ask them what do they think they should do in regards of creating a fake page to act like you're a man, to expose a video of him and his, I don't know if they were even married at the time or not, ex-wife, wife, I don't know the, the situation 100%, but to ask someone how they feel or what they feel they should do that's a different level of crazy. So in my mind, if a guy can even have you to the point where you're like, but he's mad at me, da 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 because she answered her own question because she said, I don't want to do it. You know, I so said she was saying she didn't want to. But my thing was, once you asked me, what do I think you should do? I realized at that moment, if I would have been like, listen to your man, do it. It might have been a video. I don't know. So I just feel like if a man has that much control to where you're mad and you're even contemplating doing something illegal for him, that scares me. I don't know what y'all are capable of. I don't know how low y'all will go. I don't know if I ever make you mad. Can he make you do something to me? Or if I ever made him mad, would he be able to have you do something to me? I think like that. So 
if you will do something that low to your wife, ex-wife or somebody that you've shared, you know, a life with, I know I can't be safe around you or him. Did she ever demonstrate that type of commitment to him prior to her sharing what he wanted her to do? Did you ever pick up that this girl is truly in love with this man and dedicated? Did she ever show that amount of commitment to him prior to her say, sharing? I really that? wouldn't know because I've only been in person one time. And okay. that was, the time I came down here and uh, I was looking for my house. And that day was actually August 25th or August 26th of 2021. And we went to the, com I, well, I met her up at the comedy lounge. She invited me there. It was basically almost over. So we went and had a, a drink at this restaurant at the bar. And that's when she, you know, we discussed her situation, her life, her relationship or whatever she had going on and her man being on TV and everything. And then we winded up going home because I had an early flight that very next morning. So I've never been around her to see her level of loyalty to him. Like we didn't really just talk about them all the Did time. Did you speak to it though at any time? Like I love this man and I know he was married, but he's been good to me outside but of him manipulating her. Night at the restaurant, she actually said it started. She said she tried to leave him alone. Um, she did say that, you know, basically she didn't know he was married when she did find out she was broken hearted. She was hurt. She tried to leave him alone. And he would not let her leave him alone. He was beating down her door. This is what she's saying, alleged. I don't know if he was really. No, that's okay. We know it's alleged. You good. Okay, You're I covered. Just, You're covered. I don't, I don't want it to be. This is what she's saying, that she he would not leave her alone, things like that. So she says she did fall in love. Like she literally said, I fell in love with him. And then it was just hard to let go after that. But she did try to tell me. She said, but I'm not going to lie. I did try to leave him alone on several occasions. She said there were so many times where I told him, no, go home to your wife. I'm not dealing with you anymore. This is wrong, supposedly. This is wrong. And he supposedly was telling her he couldn't leave her alone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Thank you. I'm going to make sure I, do. I I need to remove things of that nature. I didn't know that was a Martell saying. Uh, I see somebody that says, hey, that's mm -hmm. it. Don't say things that I need. Watch, be careful with that chat. That chat can mess you up. <laughs> Let me be very careful. Look, because I how did you know. feel hearing that as a married woman? Another woman sitting across from you telling her, you being a married woman of 16 years, right? Mm -hmm. And this well, woman telling like you how much she loves somebody else's husband. How did that make you feel as a woman? So, and I'm going to be blatantly honest. This was my first time meeting this girl. I really don't know her. She she kind of was like, can I just, you know, like I want to tell you something before, you know, because I'm not like that. So when she told me, I'm going to be honest, I didn't even know who she, them, it all, I don't know these people for real. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I want to say, I vividly remember he might have called her. I don't, I can't say for certain if that was her, but a guy called her the phone and I know he had to say something like, don't mention my name or don't tell her who I am. And she was like, shut up. She doesn't even know you. She doesn't know anything about you guys. Like she said this to him, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but, but just you as a married woman, forget her. How did that make you feel? You got four kids. You've been married. You put in the work, you know, marriage is hard. How did that make you feel? Well, I'm gonna be honest y'all. Like I really, I don't really. So, and I'm gonna say this only because it is. That's this okay. The fact that I'm a hairstylist. And I really was just talking to her on social media about what I'm coming there for to do hair and how she's telling me, oh, yeah, my her best friend hairstylist just moved. She, you know, she need a new hairstylist. I'm really just looking at Ariane like you're actually going to be probably my first client here. So I'm not viewing her. She never met my husband, my family, my kids. She doesn't know anything about me. I don't know anything about her. Once she hit me with this information, it kind of just was like went in one ear and out the I got other. you didn't care because it's like, although yes, I'm married, I have seen situations very much similar, if not worse to what they have going on, me being a hairstylist and I am servicing two different women. And- But do I, you ever think I, I wish a bitch would? <laughs> you know, and being as, even I've heard a lot of stuff as a married woman. Mm -hmm. I, I knew somebody before I got married that was dating a married man. I've always thought it was wrong, but after I got married, 
You thought it was more wrong. I was really like, she can't come over here. Absolutely. You know well, what I'm saying? Hell, hell no. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'll say this. I definitely would not have felt comfortable of like it just being me, her, and my husband or her coming to my gotcha. house be my husband. But I really wasn't looking at Ariane like, this is about to be my Huntsville best friend. We're going to know. I I'm really looking at her like, okay, this is the first person I met. If she wouldn't even tell me about that going on, I still would not have known. You get what I'm saying? So I really just was like, oh, wow. My, my I remember my you favorite. saying that in one of your interviews. Do you feel like that's important to her to tell people that, hey, he's on, just, just be, look, mm -hmm. not trying to think what she thinks, but whatever you felt in that moment when somebody, well, he on TV. Did you feel like, okay, we kind of cloud chasing here or no? Did that ever cross your mind? No, I didn't think she was clout chasing. I think she was trying to break it down without giving me too much, but giving me enough. Like, she's like, okay, so I just want to let you know, like, my boyfriend is, it, we, I mean, she's like, I'm kind of in a scandal. It's just in Huntsville. So, you know, of course, it's a person they just say it's just in Huntsville. Like, duh, where else would it be? I'm like, but I'm like, she's like, it's just in Huntsville. And I'm like, oh, well, what happened? And she's like, well, my boyfriend was married. She said was. So. Got it. Oh, okay. So he's not married anymore. I mean, I didn't even ask. I was just was like, oh, okay. And then she was like, and he is on TV. So I'm thinking she dating a superstar. I'm like, <laughs> I know that's right. You know <laughs> Who is she dating? So I asked. He is a superstar to her. You got to consider and the source. I, I mean, you know, everybody needs somebody sometimes. Yes. <laughs> I guess. But I'm thinking once she said he was on TV, I'm thinking it's about to be something. I'm like, oh, she must be dating an athlete. In my mind, that's what I'm just thinking. Like, it must be an athlete. And she's like, well, he's on TV. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, we're like, what what does he do? What it, what show? And then she yeah. talked about the love and marriage Huntsville and yada, yada, yada. But I do want to say this, though. Okay. I know morally I should have just been, like, disgusted and things of that nature. And me looking now at it, I'm like, I could have definitely handled that better. I could have just been like, absolutely not. But I will say, I think- What would you have done differently? I, I, I would have never, I wouldn't have been cool with her at all. Like it, she wouldn't have got a chance to ask me that. If I could go back, the moment she told me the situation at hand and, and I'm like, whoa, it's a real situation. I should have just left her alone right then and there. You know, nice to meet you. Cause that was only our first, that was our first and last time ever seeing each other in person. You get what I'm saying? The rest of the communication was just, if we see each other on social media, we're messaging um, the, the few texts that I've sent, which y'all should have been able to see. I'm asking about the banks, what bank to go to here, what cable companies, because I don't, I don't know anything about Huntsville at this point, you know? That's fair. Thank you. And I'm going to answer. I'm going to pose you two, three more questions and we're going to open up the lines. Okay. Uh -huh. So if there are any bloggers in the chat, I'm going to drop the link. Mm -hmm. I am going to allow five to seven bloggers to come up first. Okay. Here's how this is going to work. And this I'm is not letting these bloggers come because I'm not doing any more of these. So, yeah. so the you have to ask one question. Okay. You don't get to lecture. You don't get to tell her what she should have done. You, this is for everybody, not just bloggers. You get to ask one question. Everybody that's coming up. And then she gets to answer. If I feel like she's answered your question, I'll take the next question. Mm -hmm. If I feel like there's a little bit more room for you to push back, I'll ask you, would you like to push back? At that point, you can push back. Okay. And then she'll respond one more time and then we'll move on. So let's take these questions that are here. Let me let me ask you something real quick. When you decided to talk to Melody, who did you run it by? I know when I'm I'm about to do something, I, who did you run it by? No one. Absolutely no one. Myself. I just wanted to, I'm like, let me, I mean, you know, that's just, as a woman, I didn't want her to be blindsided. I didn't know if Melody, and I mean, I'm not going to tell y'all what was said to her or, you know, what we said in person, private, but I would just say, it was along the lines of, I don't want you to be blindsided. Here, this is what's about to happen. I see what's about to happen. Boom, 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 blah, say, sweet, blah, blah, blah. That's what it was, you know? Okay, that's mm -hmm. fair. And Sunny, Sunny Sunshine says respectfully, when did you first tell Letitia of the plot? When did you first let Letitia know what Arion told you? Do you remember? I, I want to say, 
it had to be within that first little week of me doing her hair. I don't remember 100%, so I don't want to say, but I know I told Letitia very early on, but it was it was before we got seriously into me doing her hair, so it had to be within that very first week. I don't think I told her the first day, but I want to say I told her within that very first week. Okay. Okay. And then let's see. Mm -hmm. And she said, if the video had never been discovered, and I need you to keep it real. Mm -hmm. Would you have said anything to Melody? I no. want you to pause. No, I'm, I'm going to tell I know the answer. Okay. I would not you have would said not anything to Melody. I would have not said anything to anyone. I wouldn't have said anything to Tisha because I don't think, I don't, and, and let me clear that up. I don't think I told Tisha about the plot within that first week. I let Tisha know about my acquaintance with Arian because I didn't want that to blindside her because I, I knew her. at that point like oh we may be around Martel I don't I didn't know how things worked like mind you that was my first time on set I just didn't know what to think so I'm like let me let Tisha know that I at least had a prior acquaintance with Arian out of respect we're no longer friends I haven't talked to her in six months yada 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 why did when you feel the need to let Letitia know that because as I've been saying Letitia does hate side chicks i know y'all hate her well maybe not you but i know a lot of people hate her and they feel like she doesn't care because melody no 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 leticia does not like side chicks she is team wife 100 even with her and Mel having their issues she's not associating with Ariane. Ariane can't speak to leticia i'm letting y'all know that right now so when i when i'm hearing you know you get to hear certain conversations that you're privy to as a stylist she did not she wasn't feeling team i mean she wasn't feeling whatever y'all was calling her that, but you that, didn't know that before you revealed that to her what the, i didn't know that she hated side how chicks. you wouldn't you wouldn't have known how leticia felt about side chicks because that was your first encounter with her correct i yeah but what i'm saying is i didn't tell leticia my first day meeting her i said God, the her. week or so i let her know i did her hair like back to back probably like two three days in a row so I am being privy and we're doing her hair for their interviews and for a set. So we're privy to certain little conversations. You get what I'm saying? She's not feeling a side chick whatsoever. So I just wanted to let her know, like I did have a prior acquaintance with Ariane. It was a very short time span. We're not friends. I just wanted that to be clear. So it doesn't look to any of them like Ariane's friend came on set or Ariane's friend reached out people to do their hair. I was not Ariane's friend. Six months had already gone by. You get okay. what I mm -hmm. I'm going to move on. Hold on. Let me go. And then we're going to open up the lines. Carson. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. This is from Courtney Clark. She okay. says, Carson, I for one question your motives. I do not have ill feelings for you, mm -hmm. but it's been so many people that have written Mel's coattails to get on the, to get on and flip. So they want to know what's your motive. When you, listen, what they're asking is, when you decided, I want to clear the air, fill in the blank, because blank. I'm going to Mel because blank. Okay, I wanted to clear the air because y'all were attacking me. <laughs> if y'all <laughs> asked me, I wouldn't have cleared the air. Like, if, because that's what, I don't understand how people don't understand that. You do see on the page, I have hundreds of comments of people coming at me saying, oh, you're Ariane's friend. What was you doing there? Why were you around Mel? You're, you're, you're trying to rub it in Melody's face. Well, let me clear it up. I'm not Ariane's friend. You get what I'm saying? So that's what that clearing up was. I this got you. I wasn't giving this information or divulging this information to use this like, oh, this could be Carson Storm get on the show absolutely not if i was to even be on that show i would not want this on any level to be my storyline that's why i said i'm only doing one with you because i'm done because i'm not about to keep speaking on that girl i'm not about to give her this much attention in my mind she's not about to live in my head she's done like this weekend has been the longest weekend of my life I'm done with it, you know? I am sure, honey. Welcome to Love and Mayor Tunsil. Yes. <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. Um, but that makes sense. I think what you're saying is, I was kind of pushed out of the cradle. I was kind of pushed out. When that video, when whomever 
leaked the information. You know, this girl in this video is actually the girl at the tea party. You had to sit there and say, okay, we got to have a come to Jesus. Because what I don't want to happen, and correct me if I'm wrong, is for Melody to think I'm trying to sideswipe her and I got something going on. That's not what I'm here for. Is that accurate? And yes, that is 100% accurate. And then, like you said, how people are, <clears throat> if you said they're riding her coattail and then they get on there and flip on her. On her. Mm -hmm. um, I actually like Mel a lot. And that was our first, that tea party was the first uh, engagement or that's a time that Mel and I actually got to engage each other. I know y'all believe, because I saw plenty of people saying, you mean to tell me you've been around them all this time? They keep saying around them. They're not realizing I've never been around Mel. When okay. they're, they all have their own separate glam teams. No glam does any of the other castmates. Here. You said that before. So who told you that? Because that was one of my questions. You said, I listened to you on somebody's live, mm -hmm. or maybe it was yours. And you said, what I quickly, I thought if I came on set, mm -hmm. this was a uh, universal service. Yeah, like I could be a star. Yeah. But I quickly learned quickly. that if you do Tisha hair, you can't do Melody hair. Who told you that? And I need you to keep it 100. So it's not so much so is who tells you that because no one. Who that, insinuated that? No, I'm about to tell you. No one insinuates that we are a glam. So there's actual glam team. We're called glam on payroll. All of our names are listed. This is such and such glam. This is such and such glam. So it wasn't that. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, there's no way for me to go over there because she already has a hairstylist. She already has a makeup artist. You cannot go do her hair and makeup. She has a whole glam team that's there. Okay. We're hired to be glam over here. We're in this room, there in that room. So it's not like, I'm not going to just say you can't, but you can't because if they're all filming, how can I do? You get what I'm saying? That's why they all have their own. What room you really want to be in, if the truth be told? Oh, don't you. Come on now, don't play with me. Whichever one of them wanted to No, ma'am. What room do you really want to be? If we <laughs> do a nipple up in the air and the, the name landed first, second, or third, first, second, if you had your first choice, who, okay. what room would you take first? Melody, Kimmy, or Tisha? Okay. You said you're going to answer all questions. Here I, we go. Forget it. I don't care. If I'm being honest, I would have now just, okay, let me tell you why. <laughs> I don't to answer this first. The name that I'm about to say now, it's because I got to know this person and we had a natural click and engagement with each other. And it was a very natural. And I don't know if it's because we are both Scorpios, but like, as I said, our perspectives versus the other ladies perspective. Give it to us, baby. So, You're in a palace. Yeah, which they didn't show for some reason on TV, but we had a lot of dialogue that was natural. So it would be nil only. Okay. And I That's okay. You can stop there. It would be Melody. It would be Melody. That's enough. Who 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 would you take second? See, so your first choice, what room? If you could pick a room, it would be Melody's room. Second would. room. We got Letitia. Mm -hmm. We got uh uh Kimmy. Yeah. Which room would you go into next? Wait, no, no, no. Wait, when you when what room you put Kimmy in? The prom that it's only three primary women on this show. Oh, I thought you was okay. I thought we was gonna say uh it's, it, I thought you was forgetting about Stormy. She not primary to us, okay, so but go ahead. I'm only gonna say the three. <laughs> if we only, if, if we, if I can only pick from the three, yes, the lineup it would be Mel, Tisha, and Kimmy. And, and if you, if we put Stormy in the mix, where would she fit? If we opened up the the, the floodgates, where would Stormy go now? It would probably be like uh, it would. Tisha and Stormy would probably be like in the same. It would be like whichever one of them wanted. Um, and then I don't know. I would I would say still male, Tisha or Stormy, and then Kimmy. All right. Why Kimmy last? Kimmy's cool. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, Kimmy's cool. Mm -hmm. But I really, I really don't know Kimmy. Okay. So it's okay. not personal. I just really don't know her. I haven't had that much, um, you know, engagements with her. So I don't, I don't know her well enough to have picked her. I would even say before y'all run with, I would have preferred Melody over Tisha. The difference is I, I just feel like Mel and I, what I got out of it is we're both kind of like 
extra and into the glam and it would have been easier for me to use my creative abilities with male whereas i don't have that much creative i can't get that much creativeness with tisha because she is very simple she does not want to libra it's either or mm -hmm. so she's mm -hmm. not like I'm, I'm like tisha i want to put eight bundles in your hair i want your curls big i want to do this tisha's I don't know. I don't do stuff like that. So it's like she kind of has a vision of what she wants. Yes, for herself. Like okay, male would have been probably more willing to go outside the box with certain things. Like let's go big, let's go long, let's go glamorous. Where mm -hmm. I got to play it very safe, and I'm not that much of a safe player. Like, well, you're an artist by, yeah. by, by, by way of trade. You're uh, an artist, and you you have to allow your creative flow. Bingo. to be present in that moment. That's the only reason why I really- That's okay, you don't have to explain. It is what yeah. it is. It is really, I, I would have been grateful though for any of them be, just because it's still an opportunity to put your work you know, on television. And if people wanna know what was your motive for reaching out to them, that's what it was. Networking and putting my work. It's more important for me to have my work on television than it is for me to be on television, if that makes any sense. So if they offered you a full-time role, would you take it or would you leave it? Take it or leave it. If the producer <laughs> saw this interview and they said, you did a hell of a job with Queen Sheba. Girl, who <laughs> oh, you, would you, you, you take it or leave it? <laughs> um, no, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously I would take it because I'm gonna utilize the platform. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna make sure my hair is still on. Like, But my whole goal, would still be to focus on my business, not drama, not okay. not come in. Put it like this. They couldn't get me to come in and flip on mail. They couldn't get me to come in and I'm not ganging up on nobody. I will probably always be the person that just doesn't care and wouldn't be. I'll be the one that's, so y'all, y'all want to go to this? Y'all want to go do that? Y'all want to liven it up? Y'all want to try surfing? Like, I'm that friend. I've never been the one. I don't carry bones. That's not in my nature. Like if y'all even go look at my Instagram page, everybody will tell you, Carson is probably the most unproblematic person you're going to meet. She hates drama. Like I hate, I live in a peaceful Zen. Like everything around me has to align. Everything has to be right for me. So yeah. Okay. And I'm going to burn through these questions really quick. Cause I know my people are ready to come up. Maya Victoria said, let this be a lesson to all of us, all of us, me, you, everybody in the chat to be mindful of the company that we keep. Absolutely. A few months of knowing someone has blown up to this. Move accordingly. That's true. I, a listen, I agree with you, Maya. And I will say, I feel like I learned that would be the valuable lesson that I took from this is to one, be more careful with who you even align yourself with or even just make acquaintances with you know what i'm saying and if someone gives you some information that is you know use your use your better judgment do what's right and jasmine to journey says she wants to know how did you and slaw link in the first place what prompted what prompted you to say let me go meet her in person what was it about her that was so compelling and so impressionable to you that you say yeah i'm gonna explore this as a friendship okay I'm going to clear that up. I was not exploring it as a friendship. What were you exploring it as? A potential client. But let me let me explain this. I told y'all already, I had 140,000 followers on social media. She was one of them. I made the announcement on my social media. And there was plenty of people who were like, she did do this. I made the announcement on my social media page. She wrote on the page. Like, oh, I think that'd be great for you. We need good hairstylists down here. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, instantly, as soon as I saw the comment, I see it's a female. And majority of my following has always been female. Like, I don't even really want guys following me unless they want their hair done. But so I see it's a female. I didn't have that many comments on there because, mind you, this post is really for Huntsville. Other than my clients who was like, what are you doing? What do you mean you're leaving? But so she was just writing on there about me coming to Huntsville. So now I'm responding back. I'm replying to what she's saying. And I'm, oh, do you live there? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. Okay, how do you like it there? Now we're just communicating back and forth on social media. We communicated 
on social media only at this but point. But there had to be something because I've met people off of, I meet people all the time, but there may be one or two. I'm like, we finna go have drinks. So what was it about you, about her? That made you say, I'm going to take it just to whatever, whatever friendship. She was really cool. I mean, one, when she's writing me, I'm looking at her and I'm like, oh, this is a pretty girl. I'm not knowing she's a part of a scandal. And again, I'm coming down here to do hair. So if you're talking to me about me doing your hair, I'm, I'm really cool. Like a client to stylist relationship is almost like real friends. You get what I'm saying? So okay. looking at her like she's about to be my first real client in Huntsville. And then I'm letting her know I'll be down there in such and such. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, cool. I'll show you around, take you to a couple spots. I'm like, all right, I'll let you know when I get there. I text her. I mean, not text her. I DM'd her on social media. Like I'm here. I'm at my mom's apartment. We're setting everything up. And I'm like, here's my number. Y'all saw the text come through and it said, Ari, she sent me her number right then and there. So, and then after that, we called. We uh, she told me where we can meet up at, like where where I was to come, which was this comedy place there, comedy lounge. We went there. It was kind of late, almost. I guess we was basically missed it. And then we went to this little restaurant and sat at the bar and had a drink. And then we were discussing her relationship. So I really was just looking at her as a potential client. It's not like I was looking at her. I didn't have any other friends down here. The friend who I knew that was from here, who came down here and got married, she lives in Decatur, Alabama. Okay. She's married. So I'm coming down here and I'm at my mom's and I have nothing to do when I come down here. I was only coming down here to house hunt. So while I was down here earlier in the day, I went looking for my houses. Um, and then a little bit, once it got a little bit later and I was done looking at houses, I hit her up and we gotcha. went out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. Well, I met my hairstylist many, many years ago on mm -hmm. social media. Okay. We go to brunch, we go to lunch. <laughs> like, but so I, I was just trying to see if it's yeah, the same. No, my clients, I was just trying to say clients invite me to their birthday parties. I'm going to my client's baby shower in a couple weeks. Like, like these are things. I, no, I would I say she's my friend? No, I don't know much about her. She is my client. She's a great client. If she's cheating on her husband right now, or if her husband is cheating on her, I don't know, but she's invited me to the baby shower. What if this is a scandal? What if the baby not his? You get what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, I'm about to go to her baby shower. I know nothing about her. She's not my friend, but I'm quite sure if she had some relation to somebody on the show, it would be like, why would, why would you be at her baby shower? She's my client. Gotcha. And we're going to push through these questions really quick. A lot of them she's already answered, so I don't want you to answer them again. Thanks. Stephanie614 says, it's the timing. Why did you wait until after you were seen on television? You've already answered that. Stephanie, mm -hmm. she answered that. She said, to disclose this information. So Stephanie, she's already answered that. But Stephanie also wants to know, are you still cool with Wanda? Yes or no? <laughs> no, guys. I was never cool with Wanda. When y'all saw Wanda on TV, go back, go back and listen to that live. Look what she was saying. Y'all, look at my stylist, Carla. She didn't even know who I was. I so you gave her a pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> listen. Oh, what'd you put in her head? A pineapple? No, listen. That was her <laughs> from her hairstylist. I, if I be real with y'all, I didn't even really do Wanda's hair for the thing. They paid the own network or whatever. They paid us because I just had to go in there and freshen it up. She already came. Y'all know Miss Wanda. She coming ready. She came through with her boots. Uh, we she saw her in them boots. Yeah, like Wanda comes ready. So Wanda is like just one of them funny, cool people. But when she saw him, she like, look at my stylist. Did she smell like pump it up? Girl. Question. <laughs> Next question. Yes. Next question. All but right. No, I'm not cool with Wanda. She didn't smell like pump it up? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shirley Ann says, Carson, question. Why did you have to ask Coleslaw about banks, cable places, et cetera, if your mom... Oh, that's a good question, Carson. Mm. If your mom lived here. So why did you not rely on your mother and you oh. relied on Coleslaw if y'all were not friends? Let me tell you something. My mom only lived here for maybe 30 days, 60 days before I got here. My mother did not know. My mother... Let me tell you, matter of fact, I want to call my mom right now. My mom just got her bank here 
last week. My mother's bank was in Atlanta. She was with Chase Bank. So my mom is old school. She like, girl, I don't need no bank there. I told my mom, mom, you need to go to Redstone. That's their bank here. You need to have their local bank. You need to be with a credit union. My mother just got the bank here. My mother gotcha. also works for Xfinity, okay? So my mom only uses Xfinity because it's free. She's been working there forever. She's a technician. Okay, she's a technician for them. But oh, anyway, you're fine. You don't yeah. have to go into detail. Yeah, so I just wanted to make that clear. My mother never had a bank here. She also works remote from home, so she was not leaving at all. And she only was with Chase Bank. And she only uses Xfinity. My home where I live at, I cannot get Xfinity. You could. Get You're fine. What they have. So sorry. We're going to push through these. Hannah Grace wants to know. Basically, she said, I heard what you said about telling Letitia about Coast Laws and Martell's plot. Mm -hmm. Other than Letitia being team wife. Because Hannah feels like that's very generic reason. What was... Was there any other compelling reason? I know Hannah. She's a member of the palace, but Hannah, Hannah wants to, was there anything else that rose up in your spirit? Let me, let me run this by Letitia. Other than you hearing Letitia, the two times you've done her here of her being team wife, anything so, outside of that? What it was like, there's no, I, cause I, I feel like maybe y'all overthinking it. If you're doing someone's hair and the whole entire cast hates this person, and you're the only person who has an acquaintance with that person. You get what I'm saying? It does not look good. It looks suspicious or shaky. So I wanted to make it clear out the gate. I'm not that person's friend. Mm. I didn't know that person. It wasn't even, it was just making sure that nobody got hit. Blind. I can't say nobody, but I didn't want Tisha to get hit with the like, whoa. So you and her are friends. Is that why you reached out to me? Is that why you wanted to do my hair? I wanted to end all that or did all that before it could even begin. And like I said, had I got a chance to do Melody's hair, I would have done the exact same thing. You get what I'm saying? I yeah. spoke to Melody. I was never around her. That's why I never got a chance to tell her. I think what they're wanting or what they wish you would have said is I'm a wife. I was working on another wife's head and I don't ever want her to think that I condone that shit. Period. Whether she's well, team wife or not, I needed to clear my name mm -hmm. and I need to let her know I'm on the up and up. Well, I'm I think that's what they're wanting to hear. Yeah, you. That's what y'all probably want me to say. But if I just be like honest and raw, I don't, I'm a wife. My wife has nothing to do with my work. Me being a wife has nothing to do with my work. I am a hairstylist when I'm doing my work. So gotcha. me as a hairstylist, I am in a professional setting. I don't even discuss my husband, my relationship, my kids with my clients unless we get chummy like that. So right now, if I was doing your hair, Queen, I'm not about to come here and be like, Oh, you're married. I'm married. I'm going to come there. Hey, how do you want your hair? Uh, um, you I got you. Dandruff. Like, I'm all business conversation only at that moment. I don't know her. You get what I'm saying? I, don't I got you. For real. So it's a business professional relationship. And we I think that's fair. But it's a business professional relationship. So I conduct business. I don't put my personal feelings in it. And for the people in the chat, imagine that you're at corporate America. Would you open up immediately? To your coworkers, or would you get that a feel? The worst I'm just trying to represent America. both sides, so Thank that's you. absolutely that fair. Way, that would be the worst. Thing. I worked for corporate America. That would be the worst thing you could do is let Thank them put the business out the gate. So, it's do you understand her approach? Are you are you clear on it, everybody in the chat? That she was like, "Wait a minute, I need to get a feel. I'm the new girl on the block." <laughs> Number one, I can't just come up in here running my mouth and talking about stuff. I don't even know what's going on. Number two, I've just been put on blast. So let me, first time, second time. Last question, I'm about to open up the lines. Y'all get ready. Bloggers first. I'm taking five to seven. Last question here. Uh, Courtney Clark says, do you feel you have learned anything from this? I honestly feel a threat in any capacity should be told. Even if, even if it's via DM, we shouldn't wait till we see it carried out. Do you agree? Why or why not? Do you, so what she's saying, the first thing is, what have you learned from this? Okay, so the first thing that I learned from this is, as I said, sometimes you have to look beyond, like, it's got to be more than, than just money, about just money. This wasn't a situation where I'm doing my client's hair and she gave me some information. This is just somebody I met on social media. So me being a wife, I really should have looked at that and been like, uh-uh, we can't be cool. 
You get what I'm saying? We yeah. haven't became a client and stylist relationship yet. So I don't even need to be cool with you. And if she would have wanted her hair done later on down the line, she could have booked online and then I would have just done her hair professional. You get what I'm saying? There should have not been a relationship at all. So that's what I learned, you know, Okay. let it go right then and there. And the second thing is, uh, she do you feel like if there's a threat to a woman, whether you know her or not, should you let her know immediately? Yes or no? Yes. And if so whatever you decide, give her an explanation. Yes or no? Yes, I do agree with that. And that's another thing that I wish that's something that I probably would have done different. I was more so concerned about myself and not appearing dramified and not coming off as messy. But now I wish I could have maybe came to mail in private like I was able to do now and say, you know, like, I don't know you. And I, I still don't know how the relationship would have gone, but at least it would have been the right thing to do. Even if Mel would have been like, oh, I don't know this girl. She just brought me this drama. I still don't want to associate with her. You get what I'm saying? But at least I would have done the right thing on my end, regardless of how it would have went. Okay. That's fair. I think I got one more that crept in here real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, but this is not for everyday people, y'all. This is for bloggers first. Mm -hmm. If I don't recognize your name as a blogger, everybody hold up. So if you're not a blogger, drop down. I see one blog. I see two people signed in, but I, there's one blogger. The other person, I don't want to call out your name. Drop. I'm going to take bloggers first, and then I'll take everybody else. Anissa says, please don't discuss anything else about your family, Carson. It's nobody else's business. Mm -hmm. Say your piece and leave it on the floor. Either, either they can love it or hate it. Right. I appreciate that. Thank you, Anissa. <laughs> trying to just answer all y'all questions and before because one thing even even i even told queen sheba i don't even need any questions ahead of time because the truth doesn't need to be prepared for i'm just gonna give y'all how i feel if y'all still think i'm a bad person it is what it is at this point like i'm done after this blog y'all yeah done i it's hope i'm doing it justice i really do so I think um I see quite a few people backstage. I only recognize one name as a blogger. Please listen to me carefully. I'm opening up the lines right now. When you see the link in a check, if you are not a blogger that I recognize, please remove yourself. I'm going to bring you right back up. But if you stay on, you're going to block the line for the bloggers. I'm going to bring up. And when I bring you up, this is not to lecture Carson or tell her what she did wrong or right. This is to ask her a question. Once you ask your question, she's going to respond very briefly. Mm -hmm. If I feel like there's a little bit more room for her to elaborate, I will ask you, would you like to push back? Mm -hmm. If you say yes, Carson, you can ask her one more question and then we'll go to the next. Okay. But I think some of you are regular people that are in the back. <laughs> let I see two bloggers. So let me go. Bloggers, stay on. If you're a regular person, please drop down and I'll bring you up later. The review hour. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the stage, Queen. Hey. Hello. Thank you. Hi, Carson. Hi. Hey. I What's your question? I wanted to ask one question. Uh, after sharing uh, that information about that potential crime happening uh, with Leticia, do you think, uh, do you know whether or not she shared it with the other core six uh, part, you know, the other cast members? I know that she didn't share it with uh, Melody, but do you think it got out to uh, the other cast members, production, or even Carlos King? I honestly don't know. Um, I do want to say, Glam, we're only in the back room. Okay. So I, I, I would never know what they discuss they keep them separated when we're with them. They even keep them on different floors at different times. We don't even see them. Mm -hmm. So I'll just answer that later. But no, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. Thank you, The Review Hour. I'm going to bring up the next blogger and thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you, the, the Real review. VB says, loving the interview. Well done, Queen and Carson. Thank you, Queen. Did you just we call her The Real DV? The Real VB. Oh. VB, mm -hmm. hold on. Me. I'm supposed to call her the real BB. 
And then uh, let's Miss Main Event says, I completely understand Carson, even though the mellow meters had to drag her ass out the bushes first. <laughs> but y'all they had to come get you because otherwise you wouldn't have come to the forefront. That's true. That's what, that's what they do. I'm not going to lie. Y'all drug me out, honey. They did. They did. They forced you out. Y'all forced. Y'all threw. You know what y'all did? Y'all threw that smoky bomb into my house. And I had to just <laughs> like. Uh, the prophet is none once as this all happened on God's timing. Mel is covered by God. Amen. Amen. Because had Carson not come forward, Mel would have never known what was waiting in the bushes for her. This could have been a complete annihilation of her character mm -hmm. because this man allegedly wanted this, his mistress to pretend to be a man that Melody was engaged with. I'll leave it at that. If I skip, okay, let's see. Let me bring, Carrie, are you, Carrie, are you a blogger? I'm going to bring you up. You're here. I think you, yeah. So like, I'm a blogger. Hi. Hi. Yes, are I you am. a blogger, Carrie? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, my welcome, partner welcome. is Lola Lane. And okay, Lola, we do okay. cover Love, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Okay. Um, in these YouTube streets. I'm so happy that you, Carson, have explained yourself Um I was gonna. I was not gonna touch this at all. I told my partner, "Let's not touch this right now. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little hot. Why don't we find out what's going down?" Okay. And um, I'm glad that we did this. Knowing what you know now, mm -hmm. how do you think this will affect your professional life now? Being um caught up in all of this. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that this is... Are you talking about with the castmates? Yes. Or in entertainment in general with anybody else, future clients. I don't think this will affect my opportunities with, you know, future clients. Okay. It may affect my um, opportunities with this cast mm -hmm. only because this is, this is like, this is real. This mm -hmm. is made up drama. These are not fake accusations. This isn't, it's not a storyline. You know, some stuff, I guess, are storylines or what. This is real, the information that I gave. So I don't know what's to come from it. It could affect it. It could not. But in all honesty, I already was no longer doing Tisha's hair. Anyways, I have not done Tisha's hair since that reunion. That was October 21st of 2022. Um, I, I have not done her hair since then. So I feel like I'm a pretty busy woman. I like to say, you know, blessed. I have a, a really, I have a, a variety, wide range of clientele. I don't just have just black clients. I am blessed <laughs> to have cancer patient clients. I have, you know, Caucasian clients and black. I have a, a very nice clientele. So I don't think that my, it will affect my clientele at all. It may affect the opportunity with them, but I've already been blessed with the opportunity. My work is already on TV. I've already got out of that, whatever I was going to get out of that. So I'm cool. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I wish you all the best. Um, Thank you. Hold up. Don't go anywhere, Lola okay. Lane. Um, Carson, would you like to elaborate for Lola Lane on why you no longer do Letitia's hair? Sure. Um, so Letitia and I, as I was saying earlier, we just have a difference in opinions about how she should wear her hair or what how, what we sh how, what what angle or what we should go with with her look we constantly have a difference of opinion so we kind of just came to an agreement to where we agreed to disagree on something okay. and then and, you know we agreed that it was just time for us to part ways because it just wasn't working if we're not agreeing on what i want to do Versus what she wants to do, it just wasn't. It wasn't necessarily the best situation for me anymore. Okay, so I'm let me so ask you this. Go ahead, go ahead, Lola. I'm so happy that y'all parted ways because what I think is, I think <laughs> she's not a client that will allow you to um, put your best work forth out there. My sister is an ex um, makeup artist to the stars in California, and I've seen all of this. Yeah. From from the age of twelve. Yeah. So I can understand how a bad relationship can mm -hmm. sour you throughout the whole industry. But as long as you got your stuff on lock, stay yeah. away from them scouts. 
All right. All right. Well, listen, because I heard you say, Carson, before that Marceau actually recruited you to do Letitia's hair. Did he ever express like, oh, I think my way you would be good to do this. Did he ever give you anything that he would love to see his wife uh, embody? Yep. Um, that he wants her to have a, a bust down middle part bone straight. Really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is so basic. But the funny thing is, Tisha never wanted a bust down middle part bone straight. We did what? that maybe once. We might have did that maybe once or twice. Um, it was like jet black and long. That was the first time I did her hair. We did what he wanted. He wanted it. Bust on, what did he want? Jet black, bust down middle part, and what? Bone straight, straight down. And it was very pretty, though. I'm not going to lie. And she, that wasn't necessarily her go to look. Well, she just, she, at, I wouldn't say it wasn't her go to look. She just wanted to do semi different things. You know, she wanted a side part and curls and stuff like that. I think her go to look is curls, side mm. part. Very simple, same thing. I've seen though these last episodes or whatever they've been showing like on her page, she's doing different styles now. She, mm. Yes, I'm, I'm seeing that. I, one of the bloggers had posted like all her different looks. <laughs> and they thought that I did those looks and I did not. I cannot take credit for that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I see she's starting to try different things. Okay. Is that normal for husbands to come to you and say, hey, listen, my wife, I know, you know, this is, can you do this? I would love to see, is that normal? Or is it normally the women give you the direction? Just well, not I forget Marcel. I would but. say he gave me the direction. Like, so when we're in their room, their, uh, what is it? Their glam room, the husband and wife is in there. The glam team is in there. And he would just say like, I love when she wears like a bust down middle part. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. So it's not necessarily, and she's like, all right, we'll go with that today. But Tisha, yeah, it wasn't necessarily him just giving me the directions. And I will say, I do have clients that they come with their husband and their husbands recommend the style that they like to see them in and the wife gives it. I, the other day, my client's husband said he wanted her to have a ponytail. He was like, babe, you don't ever do ponytails anymore. She mm. yeah. He paid for it. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> and is there anything wrong with that, though, ladies? Like, if my husband told me he liked a certain look, wouldn't you want to kind of have a certain Yeah, but my husband doesn't go with me to the stylist. He'll tell yeah. me before I go. Okay. He'll say, are you going to get your braids? He loves me in braids. Are you going to get... Oh, da, da, da. But he wouldn't necessarily accompany me and say, yes, give her that part down the middle, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl, girl, the book yeah. down. <laughs> it's there is because, like I said, it's their glam room. It's their room. Oh. So, I got gotcha. you. It's yeah. a little bit different setting. It's not yeah, normal. It's not, it's not in the shop. We're, we're I got gotcha. you. Them. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. You have a beautiful family, I must say. Thank you. I appreciate it. I must it. say, please. Um, I, I just I, I I want the best for you. I really do. Um, I'm sorry that you have been the YouTube streets ain't easy. Yeah. Let me tell you. Who They're you not easy. The social media streets not easy. You mm -hmm. got people who want to take you down who don't even know you. Yeah, somebody was talking about um attacking no they said they was gonna drag tisha oh that's one thing i did want to just bring up because somebody wrote on there that they was gonna drag tisha and all bets was off and they was coming for my jugular so they thought me too. so marceau wrote on there drag her in person but then the person deleted their comment but marceau's comment was still there mm. so they everybody was running with he's taking up for carson and i'm like no, he's not. No, he's not. He's taking up for his wife. This person just deleted their comment because it was too much of a threat. Like they were talking way too crazy. They was like, yeah, we the mellow meters. It's all bets are off. We're going to drag you in person. And then I, what I'm learning from certain mellow meters, they're saying those are the mellow fanatics. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm learning there's a difference. Well, let me do this. Call itself mellow meters. I want to stay on track. Lola Lane, thank you so much for being a good sport and staying up here as we push back a little bit. No, that's fine. Um, thank that's you so much, Lane. I'm going to drop. I, I have another content creator. Come back up, Curves. Hold on. Yes, that's my homie. <laughs> okay, tell her to come back up. So, Lola, drop down so Curves okay. can come up. All righty. Do okay. you want me to hang up? Yeah, yeah, just drop yourself down. Oh, okay. oop, almost, almost exited myself out. So, you uh -oh. go ahead. So All I right, won't. girl. Okay, thank uh -oh. you, man.
Hold on. This is for bloggers only. Everybody else, be patient. Curves, come back up real quick. I just dropped the link in the chat. I know you had a question. You guys, one question. <laughs> right. Yeah, one question. Let's go to a 30-second break real quick, real quick. Mute up, uh, Carson. Just hold on. Okay. You probably want to mute up. All right. Let me go to brand. All right. Shout out to my girl, Diana Rose. I got to pause. That is my honey bunny. Honey bunny, bunny, bunny. She knows it. <laughs> so Diana Rose, welcome to the chat. I'm opening up the line to any bloggers. We got three more bloggers I can take. If you're a blogger and you want to come up and ask Carson one question, y'all, this is not the pulpit. We will not be giving sermons tonight. You're going to ask a question. She's going to respond. And then I will open up the line for regular viewers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait about 30 more seconds for any bloggers that would like to come up. This is your opportunity to ask your dynamic question. And then we will go and shift to, to everybody else. We're going to give it about 15 more seconds. All right. Tweety Bird, are you a blogger? Is Tweety Bird a blogger, y'all? And pardon me, Tweety Bird, if I'm... Give me a yes or no. I don't know, because I'm not familiar with everybody, and that's that's no shade. <laughs> well, let me read, let me read these uh these the ones that are coming in. Knowing the, the seriousness of the plot, what does she, what do you think of Tisha? We already talked about that, right? No, no, we didn't. What do you think of Tisha as a wife? What do, what do you think? What are your thoughts really quickly, Carson? Do you feel like Tisha should have gone to Melody before you? She has a rapport with Tisha. My dogs are wrestling in the back. Sorry. Cool. You what are your thoughts? Do I feel like Tisha should have gone to Melody? Or just your, not even what she should have done. What are your thoughts that she didn't go? How about that? I honestly have no thoughts on it. Like, I don't know. So if I'm just honest, I don't know how much they do talk or don't talk. Again, I'm still, I still was fairly new and I'm in the back. So I don't know if they're around each other. Cause I know for some time, I think they wasn't even shooting together. So I don't know. I mean, if I was Tisha, if, if I'll say this, if I was Tisha, regardless of our issue with each other, I would have told you if I was Tisha, like if I was your friend, but I don't know how much they had going on or not going on. Okay. And that's fair. Real quick. Uh, Shaquetta Evans want to know, are you afraid of knowing that what Martel is allegedly capable of, of are you afraid of backlash that he can conjure up with, with coleslaw regarding you? Do you Absolutely. fear that? Okay, perfect. Let's move on. Um, Tweety Bird, I'm taking bloggers. I think you may be a blogger. Hold on. My dogs are cutting up. Sorry. Okay, Tweety Bird, I'm bringing you up. I hear I hear an echo. Is that me? You might hear my sons in the back. They're okay. in the back. Tweety Bird, are you a blogger, Tweety Bird? Yes, I am. Okay, welcome to the stage. Welcome to the stage. What is your question for Carson? Hello. I just want to know how did she know Marceau? Like, how did Marceau find her and everybody? Marceau did not find me. My husband, I actually posted it. I don't know if you got a chance to see my receipts. My husband and I went to Black on June 15th. That is our first time going to Black. And Marceau was there. And my husband and I met Black. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, yeah. So that was our first time meeting Marceau together. And then he and my husband were talking. Marceau like, where are you guys from? Da -da -da -da. And they're like Detroit. And then once my husband told him we was from Detroit, they had they just hit it off. My him, we were there talking to Marceau all night. And it was really my husband and Marceau, honestly. And Tisha wasn't there that day. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, thank you. No problem. Thank you, thank you Tweety Bird. Mm hmm Miss Talkative, welcome to the panel. Hi, hi everybody. 
Um, um, my question for you, Carson, is did you want to be found out? Um, did you want to want the plot to be out? Because when you first did your live, I think it was your first live, you stated that as long as Ariane kept it cute, you wouldn't say anything. Absolutely. And, and, and my my uh, reason for that question is because, you know, like if you taunt a kid with some candy, you say, well, if you don't ask me for this candy on my dress, I won't give it to you. You know, they're going to keep asking for it. Mm -hmm. So I will say this. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm sorry. I never tell my kids something. Talk okay, with T and I'm then sorry, Diana guys. Rose, okay, you're up question. next. So um, you said your question was, did I want it to get out? Was Correct. That yeah. Because so, of what you stated about Ariane keeping it. If she kept it cute. So my thing was, if Ariane wouldn't have said anything, then I wasn't gonna say anything. The problem is because so many people kept questioning me and saying, what is it? What did she say? What did she say? And then I, oh, and then I really thought about it and I'm like, you know what? Had the fake page never mentioned anything about Ariane and I being friends and me also believing that they are behind the video of Ariane and I being on live. I believe they are behind that. I was like, this wouldn't be happening. So no, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell why we're not cool. All right. right. And that, you know what, that leads me to my next super chat. Hold on, Miss Talkative. It's by Miss Wo. She says the information was provided to Mel as God intended it to be. No need to examine Carson's motives. God will use what the enemy intends for evil and make it good. Carson. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carlos needs to be fired. Oh, all right. Miss Talkative, do you feel like you got what you needed? I do. Thank you. A absolutely. Thank you for coming up. Next up, we have talk with talk tea with your girl. What is your question for Miss Carson? Hey, hey, Queen, uh, Queen Sheba, how are you this evening? Um, my question would be for Carson: If you and Tisha uh, stopped speaking at the reunion, how did you end up at the tea party? So Tisha actually contacted me. Well, y'all didn't get to see that because I asked on television, Tisha. Why did you invite me here? This is weird. We have not talked at all. So she was just saying that was kind of her attempt because there was a professional communicator to teach people how to communicate effectively without arguing, which she felt was she and I's problem. Because if we didn't agree on a look, then it would kind of sound like an argument maybe to her or whatnot. So she, that's why she invited me. She's literally said that. They, they might be able to help us. It might be able to solve our relationship, might be able to fix it, might be able to salvage, you know, maybe it was going to fix something or not. But it, she just wanted it to help us communicate better with each other. And then some things transpired where we did. We were not able to communicate better with each other. They did not air it. But Tisha and I still it didn't work. I'll just say that. And we just came to the agreement there that the client stylist relationship is definitely over. So you talk came... with your girl. Would you like to push back? Yes. Um, so you saying that, I mean, you said that she just called you out of the blue after the reunion and then up to the tea party. One day she just called and invited you to the tea party. Yes, she did. Y'all hadn't spoken since the reunion. Yes, she did. She said, Carson, would you like to come to this tea party with me? And I'm like, okay, sure. I guess, you know, we have not talked, but yeah. And she's like, well, Mel's going to throw a tea party and there's this communicator. She let me know. There's a lady that teaches people how to communicate. Tisha doesn't wear wigs all the time. So we do go periods where I would not be doing her hair. So I'm assuming she was like, it's about time or almost back time to start wearing wigs again. Let's try to fix our relationship. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. I would like to push back. Go ahead. And then we're going to move on. So if the objective of the tea party was to establish better communication, to me, that would mean because we're moving forward. But since then, Tisha has not acquired your services to do her hair. Is that correct? Correct. 
Because so in your head, you did not communicate effectively with each other. So in your head, mm-hmm. now that you look back, do you ever question what was the point of bringing me on here? If if the goal is effective communication and we have not communicated since. Well, I don't know if y'all not hearing this part. We were trying to communicate there and it's still we still clashed. Gotcha. That's when we both agreed. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying without saying. We tried, just like y'all seen others going back and forth. We start going back and forth. And they didn't show that. They did not. Oh, so y'all were going head to head at this tea party and they cut that out. Yes. Oh, and I I'm actually happy they did. Thank God. Okay. The All reason right. why is because I didn't want to come off. First off, that would have been my first appearance on the show. And I go above and beyond for my clients. Like, I, my clients love me to death. So I didn't want to be viewed as like, because from what it was sounding like to me is she's complaining about something and I'm sounding arrogant. Like, well, I'm the stylist. You need to listen to me. Da, da, da. And if that was what I was going to be perceived as, I didn't want to be perceived as that. Okay. That's mm-hmm. fair. And, and, uh, I hope that answered your question. Your girl. Mm-hmm. Thank yep. you so much. Do you have a Thank you, please. Because you, you mm-hmm. it sounded like you thought I was lying. Like mm. it don't matter. I think you gotta. It don't even. It's okay. you two. We gonna push. Yeah. <laughs> right, but I don't I even really get attached to it. Yeah, okay. I really didn't say much about your responses, so I'm not sure where that came from. I'm not sure. But Queen Sheba, thank you for having me on your panel. Absolutely. And, uh, good night. Thank you for coming mm-hmm. up. Thank you, Carson, for answering my question. No problem. Thank mm-hmm. you. Diana Rose, welcome to the Palace Queen. Hey, girl. How are you? Good. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm going to let you have the floor. Thank to, you. Yeah, to propose person. your question. Yeah, I talked to you a little bit this morning. I had actually sent you the super chat, but I wanted to ask. I don't know if you guys already discussed this. Mm-hmm. Um, you are clearly a very talented stylist. Thank you. You have gotten on own to be a part of this entire system. Thank you. So you clearly are talented, and, and I haven't even seen a whole bunch of your work. I know this. Okay. I understand why you would want to get ahead of this backlash. Mm-hmm. You have a talent and a skill that you want to be able to continue. Mm-hmm. Wait, you say, is this still what? I said that you have a, ca- a talent, you have a skill that you want to continue without absolutely that ugliness behind mm-hmm. you. Right? Yes. So my question to you is, being that you had an oops, being that you had an opportunity to, you know, get to Huntsville, work for a major network mm-hmm. on this high profile show, was your appearance approved by Carlos? That's my first question. I, I don't <laughs> so okay, so Carlos is the producer over the entire show, but there mm-hmm. are producers under directly under Carlos. Mm-hmm. It's not Carlos. I don't know. It's not Carlos that approves or brings people on or not. He Mm -hmm. entrusts in his team of producers that he actually has. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's who the approvals go through or not. But yes, that, that, yeah, we're approved because we have to sign off. You know how that goes. I can't. Yeah. You have to sign off paperwork. All of that before you can even come to a set, Mm -hmm. all your information, everything is taken. Yep. Okay. And then my next question, um, because he had pre- previously said that he approves everyone, is, and I don't know if you guys already answered this. I apologize if you did. Was he aware or did you discuss anything about Martel? Absolutely um, not. Anyone? Okay. No. Or well, at least to my knowledge, if Tisha, I don't know if Tisha ever discussed that with them. So I, I, I don't want to just say, I'm going to say not to my knowledge because I don't know what Tisha discusses with her producers. I don't have any conversations with the producers at all. You don't have any conversations. No one said to you, we're aware of a tape or any of those things. No, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Nope. Okay. That's really I'm going to be real. If I knew there was a tape, if I knew that was out there, I wouldn't have went on the show just because I would have at least known this was going to happen. That's why I feel they were behind it. I feel this was very intentional. I don't feel like this was, I, I feel like this was very calculated. I, something 
just doesn't sit right in my spirit with this. Like I come on the show, they didn't, they didn't show this or this video didn't appear all while, all before or all while it's being promoted. But the day that the show. Is Paul, shoot. Hey, can y'all still hear me? Wait, that's a, oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. Someone's contacted me on Instagram. But okay. the day that the show airs, they are, um, this video just comes out and then it's like, Oh, that's her. This is her. I'm like, what, where did this video come from? I had to go watch the video myself. You know, I was one of the first people to get that video and that stuff, right? You were one of the first. Mm -hmm. So did someone send that to you? Mm -hmm. They sent it to me, but was I it didn't... them? Huh? Was it, was... it them? No, no. It, it was a, um, it was a subscriber. Um, but it just, I held it because I didn't know what or who you were. So I waited for the show just to see. And then I thought, well, she doesn't have any speaking roles. We see her for about six seconds. And I just was like, I don't know if, I didn't know what this was. So I, I questioned it as well. You know, we get a lot of stuff and we have to hold it and wait and make sure that it's right. So when you said it was a subscriber, do you like... Was it a subscriber that you recognize? Was it a real, like, do you think this was somebody that just made a page or an email address? Because I don't know how that works. Yeah. So we don't, we don't see them. We don't actually see their faces, but we get information all the time. Mm. And when I received it, I was like, wow, um, that's pretty, you know, because there's, all, it seems like every season there's mm -hmm. a candle that brings um, AC's name back into the into the fold. I'm not gonna lie, this just a very different goes with my theory in my mind that they're behind it. I just like so when you when say there who when, who comes to mind? Ariane and Martel. Got <laughs> okay. Got oh, got yeah. I just don't believe like like I said, no one knew Ariane and I had any acquaintance. It was a very short short acquaintance you get what i'm saying so it's just like for that to come out and for them to send it to her and she doesn't even know who really sent it she's I, i'm i'm thinking like maybe a friend sent this like it's different somebody sends you something on social media you can see it so if this is emailed to you or something mm -hmm. it just makes me feel like very calculated this was done with jealousy and it was done and i feel like it backfired yeah I feel like really? <laughs> Branisha wrote on that page that day and said, how did you squirm your way into doing Tisha's hair? And then when I met, and then when I tagged them both, like go check the DM now. And then I messaged Ariane and I went off like that. The fake page never responded again. What fake page do y'all know that don't harass you or go back and forth with you over and over? When I sent that very direct message of exactly the information that I had, they never said anything else. But again, I still didn't know at that time that there was an actual live. If y'all read what I said, I'm like, I'm not on any live discussing mm -hmm. Tisha. And you get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now for that video to come out, I feel like, you know how your lives or your videos save to your phone? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking happened. I don't even know if somebody recorded that because again, I just don't recall, like she wasn't, Y'all, people weren't even saying anything when she was writing on my wall. Like now when Ariane comes and writes something or comes out, people still go at her. Like you're this, this, that, and the third. But she was writing openly and freely on my wall. Not one person came on here and said, this home wrecker, her boyfriend, you get what I'm saying? Like no one said anything about her. I so do. I'm like, and when they sent over the information, they purposely left out the dialogue that you had when you, you know, when you responded to Bernisha, they I got it too. I received the video out. too. I, I just didn't say anything. No, so you were saying, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie. And, and guess what? This is why what happened happened because it backfired because what I'm thinking is that day that I responded to Bernisha and Arian, I only DM'd Arian. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did not DM Bernisha. So I feel like if Branisha, a man, <laughs> got what I DM'd Ariane, I feel like that video would have never come out. But mm -hmm. I feel like 
Arian might have already let him know, like, oh, there's a video of us in my phone. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me say this, because Dana Rose, can, is it okay if I dance at your party? Oh, absolutely. This is so your if you share that you share with Letitia regarding Martel's alleged plot, based on what I've seen to be trending on this show, if you share with Letitia, you're going to share with Marcel because Letitia has shared very delicate and sensitive information about her own family with Marcel. And if Letitia shares with Marcel, I'm guessing Martel already knew. So Could there have been a possibility that so Martel was this aware? Is what I say. This would be the one time, because did you guys see the text message that I sent directly to Letitia? Tell Martel... To check it. What, what did I say? I said something along the lines of control his HOE before I air them out. Like basically I let them know then. So and then Tisha responded, don't give it any energy. So I'm thinking in my mind that it's a strong possibility they never said nothing to him about it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I, I that's mm -hmm. the only thing that I could think that would make sense is that they didn't tell him. I asked them to tell him September 19th. I wanted them to tell him. Mm -hmm. I messaged and said, go tell him. But I wasn't about to tell him because I had no communication with that man. I don't talk to that man. Mm -hmm. Hold on, guys. My dog is going crazy because he sees my husband. Calm down, Chaco. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Sorry. They see him. They go wild. Like, that's their dad. They, they go nuts. But, yeah, so that's the only thing that I could think. That's the only thing that I could think is that they did not tell him. I feel like if he would have had... This, okay, okay, Chaco. Okay, my dog is about to jump all over me. I feel like if he would have had this information, that video would have never come out. Hmm. And I feel like this whole situation backfired on him. For trying sure. to be uh, sneaky and trying to uh, put me on blast, which that's what I think from day one, even when they put that on there, to write that on Tisha's page to say it was like they was trying to pit me and Tisha against each other at that point. Aren't you all on your friends every on live talking about Tisha and the rest of them? Right. It was only one live. We never talked about Tisha and the rest of them on live. So right. I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? So I was confident and responded like, no, first off, I would never talk about anybody on live. Had I knew the video was even out there, I would have still said I didn't talk about anybody on live, but I, I, I would have at least been aware like, whoa, there is a video out. That video has never been out until now. So y'all got that video first. So let me ask you this yeah. real quick. Is it safe to say, because I know somebody said, had the video not come out, you would not have told Mel, right? You said, no, I wouldn't, I would not have said anything. So you would have kind of like, because I know Letitia didn't say anything. Right. When she learned of this, and nor did she say anything when she had firsthand knowledge that Martel was allegedly stepping outside of his marriage. Do you kind of see how people could be looking at you sideways? When I like, absolutely do. I, okay. I, I, would, I can understand 100 percent people not understanding me saying I would have minded my business because they don't understand the level of like right now I'm talking candidly with you guys. I'm talking slang. I'm in a comfort, you know, a comfortable setting. But when I'm working on set, I'm coming. I'm cute. I'm professional. I'm talking to you about hair only. I don't talk about the show with them. We don't do any of that. It's very much client to stylist professional relationships on set. You get what I'm saying? So they would have never understood that. Now, I did say, though, I still would have let Mel know if I would have done her hair about my acquaintances with Ariane. I probably wouldn't let her know about the video unless it came up or was a reason to really let her know or if it was leaked. And I'm not going to lie, if that video would have came out, I would have felt no choice but to say, I know who's behind that. Can I ask one more question? Absolutely. Are you still working for OWN? Do you still, are you still a part of the glam there? No, uh, not at the moment because I'm not doing Tisha's hair. You know, okay. So you were just doing when you were doing teachers here. You were a part of the, but they you have a good relationship with them. What do you mean? I mean, you said that you were employed specifically by own. Do you feel like well, yeah, all, the whole we don't, we don't have. So put it like this: we don't know, we don't meet anyone. Oh, okay. They, we it's all done on the computer. It's all so done. you know that's a, a corporation. So you just everything is done on the computer. You put in your information. They send your check, direct deposit. 
Probably. I don't know. Yeah, there's nobody to have a relationship with. Whatever the stylist, whatever whoever they choose, they're like, okay, this is my stylist. This is my glam. Got it. And then they we're, just yeah, yeah, we're all communicating through email. We don't even we've never even seen. I don't know who owns. I mean, like who's the own people? We it's all email only. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, sis. I appreciate you. I appreciate both of you, Queen. Thank you for letting me in the palace. Okay. And then um, thank you, Carson. I appreciate talking to you. You too. are welcome. And thank you. Okay. Absolutely. Bye -bye. Thank you, Diana. We love you. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. So we're going to take a 30 second break. Okay. I'm going to take three to five more people. We got to let Carson go. She has done a yes. hell of a job. Thank you. Thank you. We got to let her go, you guys, because she has been a hell of a sport. Carson, would you like to take three questions, one question or two? I'm going to leave it in your hands. I'll take the three. Like, give them their money's worth. Let them go. I'll take okay. the three. I'm not worried Let's about it. Let's take a 30-second break. Let's, okay. And then we're going to take three more questions. First come, first serve. I am going right. to drop the link. All right. I'm going to mute my mic until y'all Okay. Let me um, – give me one second. We're going to take – we're going to take a 60 second break. So I'm going to loop okay. the 30. We're going to take a 60 second break. Here All we right. go. Okay. All right. All right, so we're only taking three questions, maybe one. All right, listen, I got, I got to get off. They back on. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, welcome to the stage journey to Jasmine. We are wrapping up, Queen. Welcome. How are you tonight? I am well. How are you guys? Good. Good. What Hello. is your, what is your question tonight? Journey to Jasmine. Um. Do you plan on staying in the Huntsville area? And if you do, do you have plans on, uh, I, I don't want to say like, well, cultivating some type of working relationship with male um, or any other contacts in Huntsville? I, know, I mean, she's not clearly not the only person in Huntsville. Right. Um, but yeah. Um, I 100% absolutely plan on staying in Huntsville. I love Huntsville. I am opening a luxury salon here. God willing, whoa, okay. Um, God willing, I my salon is open July fourth. It is currently being being renovated, but I plan on having the nicest top luxury salon in Huntsville and all celebrities that come into town. It it not just based around the show will be coming to my shop. I yeah, I know that much. And as far as uh, doing any business with male. I don't know what's to come. I can't speak for Melody. Like, I don't know. You know, it, we could. I would love to do business with Mel. I would I would love to do business with you. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm just all about doing business and networking. So yeah. if there is the opportunity with us, then we will. And thank you. I want to read this. Thank you, Miss Whoa. Big money, Miss Whoa. That's so what I <laughs> big I'm money, that. big money. Whoa. I had to say whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> Miss Wool says Mel is in a hostile work environment setting and has been used by people. She tried to help. Mm -hmm. The lack of empathy and support from the cast is unreal. We can see the fakeness on the show. Having people on, having people on that are dangerous and playing in our faces like we cannot discern the truth. Not cool. I agree, Queen. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat, Jasmine. Thank you for coming up, Queen. Thank you. Um, can I say something real quick? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. They say Carlos King is in the chat. Wait. Oh, hold on. Pause. Okay. Carlos, hold on. Hold on. Carlos, no, we will not. 
Hold on. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Hold on. Carlos, would you like to come up? Because I'm a fair blogger. And I, if you would like to ask any questions or even pose any questions or tell us about your next steps. Can I say something to Carlos real quick? Hold on. Or tell us about your next steps of, of your plan to reel in all of the toxicness that has taken over the initial concept of the show. I would love to have you come up and just say, here's what's happening. Here's my contingency plan and any questions that you may have for Jasmine, but go ahead. I mean, not Jasmine. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Jasmine is my members only. So she's always in coffee talk or any questions that you may have for Carson. Go ahead, Carson. I just want to say this. I know y'all be mad at Carlos, but I want to say this, what you are doing by taking this to Detroit. I for one am beyond excited. I don't care what daddy y'all said. I'm not missing a Detroit episode. I know that our whole entire city is about to get behind this. This is the biggest thing possible for Detroit. It's giving Detroit, which is, Detroit is not doing very well as a city. I don't even know how he was able to find the couples that he found, but the couples that he found are an excellent representation of black success, um, marriage. I love those couples. They're, you know, I'm very cool with them. So I'm just so happy to see that. And that's, there y'all go. I'm happy about that. But I, 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 doubt, I don't think Carlos in here, but he could be. I can't hear you. I'm just talking like Carissa. Somebody said Detroit stand up, but the chat is moving so fast. Like 800 <laughs> things are coming through. But thank you, Jasmine. We love you for coming up. I got two more. I'm going to bring up Hanny, Hannah Grace. Anthony Loftus is on stage after Hannah Grace. Okay, Jasmine. Thank you, love. Thank you. Hey, Queen, real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I do want to say I got kind of nervous, so I forgot my actual question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you make it real chat, quick? The super chat is what made me uh, remember. Um, just real quick, how do you feel about um, the lack of empathy and uh, not even sympathy, but really empathy and humanity that a lot of people on this cast have shown um, towards Mel when they've seen the the just malignant ma behavior that Martel has shown Um towards male i mean you I, honestly just yeah. listening to your lives and stuff i can see that you've you've heard just an inkling of what he's done to this woman yeah but they've got to see it up up close and personal for years even before the show existed How, what do you feel about just their lack of humanity towards another person no matter how you feel about them that's still yes. another human being yes absolutely so what i'll say is obviously it's wrong. You know, like, I feel like everybody should be able to look at male situation, whether you're married or not, and be able to empathize with the fact that here is a woman who was married, who had four beautiful children with her husband, and then for her relationship to unravel on national television, and then for your side chick to be able to harass you and say things on social media and be able to get all this attention from it. Everybody should be able to empathize when male feels the need to pull back or when male feels the need to take breaks. In my mind, I would just, I'm, I would automatically be like, she needs to gather herself. She might want time alone. And I want to say this because I know not everybody can understand. Like some people look at you like you're fake when you pull back, but sometimes, and I don't, I'd hate to say because I'm a Scorpio, I do operate this way. And I know y'all gonna say, it don't got nothing to do with being a Scorpio. I only can, I only feel like I understand some of the way that male moves a little bit because I'm a Scorpio. When I'm going through something, I pull all the way back. I can go months without talking to my friends, but I'm so thankful for the friends that I have because they understand me so well that we don't have this problem where they're, they're acting like I'm not their friend or something anymore. They're very understanding of what I'm, they like, oh, be wrong with car once she gets back because I'm in the lab trying to build myself back up, getting myself in so I could come be a good person. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer or the sad friend and stuff around people. But I will say that Mel is a soldier. She she's beautiful. She's soft spoken. She might seem very peaceful, but what y'all have to know is she's a soldier. She can handle herself. She is all right. None of this is she's all right.
All right. Well, thank you so much. We got to move on quickly, y'all. Thank you, Journey. Thank you, Beth. We got to move it. really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, Hannah, Jasmine, if you can drop down, I'm going to bring up the next one. Hannah, Grace, what's your question, y'all? We got to make it quick. This okay. is a mother of four. All right. Hey, Queen. Hey, how's it going, Carson? Hello. Thank you for sharing with us. I just want to know if this um, becomes a legal matter, would you uh, be willing to testify? And how would you, how could you say that you could? defend your position against somebody saying that's not true. I never did that. Just if you can briefly, I know we got a lot of that. Well, about let's get the first question first. That. Would you be willing to testify? That's the first yes. one. Yes or no? Right. Yes. Okay. That's the brief answer. Yes, I would be willing to testify. And as far as how I would handle it, if they were to say I'm lying, at the end of the day, they could say I'm lying. I don't have the valid proof because she contacted me. However, you have two people and Mel, as she stated earlier, she has it sent to her phone. That's how crazy he is that he actually sent it to her phone, basically threatening to reveal that she's with another man and she recognized that it was her husband. I appreciate your, you a soldier as well. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bye -bye. Thank you Hannah. I'll see you, Hannah, and our members only. That's right. <laughs> bye bye now. Love you. Bye bye. Love you too. Bye bye. Okay. Welcome to the stage, Anthony Lopez. Hello, everyone. Cheers. Hey, Hello. Queen. How are you? Hey, hey, Carson. How are you? Hello. Hey, everyone in the chat. Um, I know I got to speed this up, and I can't really go into too many questions, but you know, I just got off live with Miss Carol from the Tea Party. And if Who is that? that's the lady that, that the taught the etiquette coach, coach Miss Carol. Oh, so, okay. Like I didn't even know her um, name. I know I can't go into too many details, but if everyone wants to know what happened during the tea party, if you go to that video, go to 35 minutes. She explained everything that happened at that tea party. Miss Carol, Carson, did? Carson, you know what I'm talking about because you was there. That was a three-hour-long film, right? She explained. She broke down everything, Queen. Okay. She broke down the conversations that was had when people got up and went to different groups. So, Carson, the conversation that you had with Tisha about the disagreement, it got back to the table. Can you explain to us what was the, what was the disagreement? Tisha and I basically just had a disagreement on her hair. So, apparently, a fake page sent Tisha something saying i need to fix my glue or change the glue that i'm using listen y'all when i tell y'all this y'all about to be like no way this was the pettiest argument in the world that's why i'm happy they didn't air it a fake page sent tisha the um a picture saying tisha needs her hairstylist needs to fix her glue tisha then sent me a message saying see carson we need to work on this because they're talking about my frontal and i'm like what? It's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. Da, 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 da. So we're going back and forth about that. Literally, that was a, she and I's argument. And it was to the point of, if I'm telling you it's nothing wrong with it, I'm not, I take pride in my work. I'm not going to send you out there looking crazy. And she's, but I'm telling you that I don't like wigs. I don't like that. And I'm like, okay, well, we already said that you need to start leaving hangout or some of your hair out. It was the dumbest argument, but that's what it so, was. So, let me with you saying that was the dumbest argument. Mm -hmm. Do you really think that was worth an invitation to come to a etiquette party for communication to a tea, to that tea party? I can't say if I think it was worth it because I don't think we were supposed to get into it. Tisha didn't think we were going to get into it. From what Tisha was saying to me is, this etiquette coach is going to help us communicate like ladies without arguing but you know how show business is I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this and i'm gonna end a lot i'm gonna I'm like in my in my time here and, but i want to make this directly to the scott family okay okay so not to me not to you okay because i still i honestly my opinion i still think it's a setup okay that's my opinion and okay. i'm just gonna leave that way but Carlos King, if you are watching this, if you all don't put out there what's been going on for the past two months in the Scott's family, that's going to hit the camera. If it don't, I'm going to release it. 
And I want everyone to have a good well, night. Wait, okay? what you said? You said Carlos King. If you don't what? I, I, let me <laughs> Obviously, there's been something going on with the Scott family for the past two months, and production know about it. And if you it, have if, privy to the if, situation. If they don't show up on the show, I'm releasing it myself. What's your um? Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, drop yeah, the mic. Y'all you know. can connect behind the scenes. Yo, drop the mic. What's your uh, site? All right. I'm gonna subscribe. Drop them. Y'all connect right. behind the scenes. All right, y'all have a great right. night, Queen. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> all right, we got two more, y'all. We got to move through. Really, ooh, we got her. Dh. Oh, DH now he got Saber. me feeling how y'all was feeling about me. What do you know? <sighs> I this would is troll it. him. <laughs> Tell us what it is. You lying? I need <laughs> a sip of my champagne. <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna my wine. Oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> Carson, did you go back? All right, y'all. This is the last 60 seconds. Let's try to keep it to 30 seconds each. DH Sabres, welcome to the stage. And Mary Hooks, you're next. Just a Good evening, Teresa. everyone. Oh, Good yeah. evening, Carson. Yeah. A quick question. Hold on, DH. One second. Were Somebody we asked about an interview. I, I still haven't seen an interview yet. Uh, yeah, it says, Carson, did you go back and watch the interview? I have not seen an interview yet. I do not know about an interview so yet. So they're asking you... Did Arion happen to share with you that she did an interview with Tasha K? Nope. I still haven't seen this interview. I heard Mel say something about it today, and I really wanted okay. to know. I haven't seen it yet, so I do want to watch it, though, but I have not watched it. Okay. Okay, perfect. All okay. right. DH, welcome. Sorry about that. Go ahead, DH. No problem. No problem. Um, good evening. Thank you, everyone, for being on here, Carson. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this, but I have a question. Yes. Um. How's your mom feeling about all of this, all the attacks that you've been getting? How's your mom? You know, my mom is basically like, my baby's a trooper. She'll be okay. She can handle it. She's, she's perfectly fine with it. And then again, my mom knew that Mel and I had already exchanged, you know, discussed. Okay. It. So she, she kind of knew. She was just like, well, Let's just see, you know, how Mel wants to go about it or what Mel's going to say. And then that'll uh, kind of help the situation. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good night. All right. Thank you, DH. You have a good okay. night. You too. Mary Hooks. Awesome. I'm the millimeters made the smoke detectors go off. I'm not about to. Oh, they're going to get off. you. They pay attention to everything. Everything. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all what it was. We bought the wrong batteries, y'all. It's supposed to be nine volt. And my husband still has not been back to Home Depot to exchange them. <laughs> okay. Right. I think I read this. Let me make sure I got before loving this interview. She said, "Well done, King. I mean, Queen and Carson. Thank Let's you. See. I completely understand. I think I got everybody. I just want to make sure we ain't leave nobody on them. Okay, we got that about the family: Courtney Clark, Hannah Grace, Shirley Ann. I think we got everybody. All right. Uh, we got one more. Let me let me just go through because I want to make sure we didn't leave anything out. Okay. And thank y'all for having me. And yeah, you got over two thousand people logged in. Oh, two thousand. <laughs> over two thousand. Over two thousand people. Wow, uh -huh. that's crazy. And I mean, I guess I do want to just say I'm happy that you let the other bloggers come in because I'm I'm done, y'all. At this point, I'm not trying to go on a press run. It's giving clout chasing to me. <laughs> Okay, so Mary, you're here. Mary, you have an oh. echo. You want to mute any other background devices yes. that you have, Queen, or I have to drop you. It's a bad echo, too. You can hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Carson. Hi, no, Carson. No, 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 Mary, you got, some, you got a lot of echoes. So Are you, you playing a phone or a TV in the background? You got a, yeah. Lost Mary. Mary, mic check. One, two, three. Hello, you can hear me now? Yes, there you go. Perfect. Hi, yeah. Queen Sheba. I finally get a chance to meet you. Hi, Carson. How you doing? Hello, how you doing? I have one question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I was listening to you saying that Tisha is team white. Yes, she is. How would you feel if you knew that Tisha and Marceau, and I'm going to say allegedly, uh -huh. Knew about Martel and Ariane relationship. How would you feel if you knew that? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know that they knew about the relationship, so I don't know. I don't really have a feeling about it because I didn't know. Well, I'm I, saying, I 
What do you say? I like if, just... if I knew they knew? I think I'm not understanding the question because the question is T you said you know for a fact that Tisha is teen wife. She okay. don't like side chicks. Mm -hmm. Okay. She don't like side chick, but she knew all along her and her husband, Marceau, allegedly that Ariane and Martel was together because she threw it in her face. This is okay. during season one, I think. One, yeah, two. yeah. Cause I've yeah. Been okay, so what did I miss on season one? Because I know I watched season one, y'all. I yes. don't remember them throwing it in the face. I remember them going back and forth. It was at uh um, it was during the day. Uh Tisha okay. said, Well, at least she's just throwing up in Melody's face, kind of okay. you know, about Martel purchasing a car yeah. for Coast Law. Yes. And Melody said, Okay, well, you may want to pull up all those late nights that he's okay. out, you may want to pull up. So I think her question to you is you you saying she's team wife. But based but on what we've know. seen, has not been aligned to team wife. Oh yeah. So how did yeah. you gather that? I think that's yes. what she's asking. That's what I'm trying to see how you. Oh, how did that. I gather that she's team wife? Yeah. So I I have heard her say things, uh, where she's like, uh, uh, we're not gonna acknowledge a whore or stuff like that. <laughs> you know, she 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 would say stuff along the lines of that. I do remember something where it was saying like i, I want to say if it was episode where or supposedly wanda said something to her her mother y'all don't remember it was on tv it was like wanda posted wanda said she was a pretty. no i remember vividly melody saying that maybe wanda was saying that she was pretty or something and then tisha said on there like no, we don't acknowledge her. We don't speak um, to her. Okay, and, okay. and then her mama said something along the lines of, well, y'all might not because y'all her friends, but I'm grown or something like that, which they're all grown. But yeah, I saw from that too, that Tisha definitely does not like side chicks. Don't believe it. I, I know believe. I know you in the, you know, I know you seen this, but if you go back, and watch it, you will see. Also, allegedly, they mm -hmm. all knew this mm -hmm. because Marceau was helping Martel cheat. So you know if Marceau know, yeah. he should know because they tell each other everything. Okay. And I saw the I saw the Tasha K interview with uh er with Ira, whatever her name. If is. anybody got my DM, do y'all mind sending me the interview? Girl, they're gonna bombard you. I don't know if you okay, never mind. Don't send the interview. <laughs> you may want to do I've your own private research. And I never saw the interview. And I will just say, um, I honestly, when it comes to if I just be quite honest with y'all, when it comes to like their relationships, what they discuss, when they're with the glam team, these things are not discussed, and they will tell you guys. That once they get mic'd up, the uh, producers will say, don't have any conversations. Don't say anything. They want them to have these conversations only when the cameras are rolling. So we're not into their, we're like, we're not a part of it, if, if that makes any sense. We're not a part of their world. We're working only. We're in the back. We're in a glam room, a private room. Once they're gone out of our faces, we can't see they don't even want us to know so that we can't give y'all any information, you know? All right. So, yeah. So, I don't be knowing. I don't. Y'all y'all actually giving me more tea than I. Well, thank you, Miss Mary. We appreciate you, hon. But one more thing I just want to let you know. On that K interview, back then, when when K was interviewing Ariane, whatever her name was, mm -hmm. that part of what Melody, Melody was supposed to have been doing, that was brought up in that interview because I watched it. Mm. And when some, when when Tasha K said, let's get Melody on the phone, Ariane went to fumbling. She didn't know what to do. She got nervous. Well, wow. she, she's not aware of that, Miss Mary. She gonna go back and, and research. Well, did, they, did they get Melody on the phone? Huh? Oh, okay. No, I was, I was asking, can, they yeah. So, Miss Mary, she she's not aware of that context, but she's gonna go back and take a look. Yes, ma'am. Please go. Somebody back. Somebody just said Carlos King and Martel Holt is in the chat talking smack. <laughs> Are they for real? 
That's Who why knows? I said allegedly, because I've been watching it from day one. All Are right. Carlos and Martell in here right now? I'm busy. I, it's so uh, many. It's like 800. It's so many chats, like 800 at a time coming through. I can barely keep up. Mm. So I, my job is to try to focus on y'all so I can. Okay. Think, I mean, you never know who's in there. People hide in the bushes all the time. But thank okay. you so much, Miss Mary. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and drop you down, honey. Nice to meet you. Nice. Nice, nice to meet you as well. And I'll take this one because Carson, this is very relevant. I think they said that you may have mentioned future episodes in one of your lives. You were like, stay tuned. They said, what is that about? I didn't I know future episodes. When I was telling them to stay tuned, I was talking about for me to come back with my receipts. I think they just assumed I was talking about the show. Okay. Yeah. No, I wasn't talking about the show. I needed to gather everything that I had for... Okay. Yeah, what I seven more. Said. Thank you, honey. I see you. Have a good night. And we're gonna let Carson go. This is a mother of two. She has done a phenomenal job. Thank you so much for sitting four. in the hot seat. Mother, you are rookie out the gate. Huh? Um, oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about mother four. That's right. Yes. Correct me, mother yes. four. Yes. <laughs> so thank you. Did a you did a hell of a job, girl. Thank you. I appreciate How you it. Feel? And y'all, I feel good. And I just want to let you know, like I said. Thank y'all for having me. I'm happy that you had the other bloggers on here because I am done. I do not want to do any more of these. I'm done with it. I want to just focus on my business, my brand, and what I'm doing. I hate that this is even the conversation at hand or what's, you know, going on pertaining to me, you know? So we're done. Well, they're saying that you Thank did you. a great job. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming to the palace. They showed up tonight over 2,000, so definitely use that <laughs> to your advantage in any way possible. Y'all check Carson out on Instagram. She oh. has her, uh, her, her luxury uh, salon opening up in Northwest Huntsville. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you can book your appointment. You can mm -hmm. get a customized wig. If you or anyone you know in your family that mm -hmm. has dealt or have been diagnosed with cancer, please pass the word. She's hands-on when it comes to making those women Absolutely. look beautiful, reestablishing their confidence and self-esteem. She's not a one-stop shop, honey. No, mm -hmm. you are a one-stop shop. Yeah. yeah you well, are we'll a makeup shop. artist working yeah. here and stylist. So, and I yeah, just want to say, if y'all can, subscribe on my website, um, which is www.bluelabelhair.com. What is it called? It's uh, Blue, B-L-E-U, label, L-A-B-E-L, -E hair, H-A-I-R.com. And that's because I have this uh, thing where I do once a month. I pick a Wednesday or the first Wednesday of each month. And it's called, you put blue lapel here. It's oh, a B. Lord have a B instead of a P. Lord have Go on there and subscribe. I have, it's called my WCWW, which is my Working Crush Women Wednesday. And I pick one woman who works. It does not matter what type of job you have. You could be flipping uh, burgers at McDonald's. You could be the CEO. You could be a firefighter, whatever it is. And I gift them a unit or bundles, whatever it is that they wear. And all I require from you is a real review of Do you make children's you wigs because you know uh oh in the world that we live in, children are also diagnosed with cancer. Have you started to dive in that realm of, 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 of specialty for children? I've actually only had one child's hair that I had to do and uh she did lose all of her hair. I have not done many children's hair, but yes. I can make children's wigs. It's all the same. It doesn't oh, matter. they tell me I'm spelling it wrong. They said it's B L E U. Yes, you spelled B L U E. It's B L E U. Oh my goodness, my website. My moderators are supposed to be on this, so I don't have to do it. Girl, Who label my here screen is going crazy. They are all over my website right now. Like, hold on, hold on. I, I'm hitting stuff. I'm not normally okay. Let's do this again. Blue label here. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Yes. And then the thing is, because like I said, somebody asked me like, well, do you work with influencers? I do not work with influencers only because I feel that with the program that I've created, I've been able to get more clients or referrals for, for people who have real jobs, like women who work in corporate buildings, women who, you know, have strenuous activities in their jobs. And then they're able to say like in the review, what they did to their hair how it was when they first got it, how it is after a week or so of them wearing it, things like that. Look, y'all heard me catch it. <laughs> y'all heard me catch it. I said things 
<laughs> like that. Ooh, I, I gotta take that out of my vocabulary. Yes, down, yes. Mean, we, got talk. Talk. we got Queen Talk. We got Queen Talk. Kelly Connection in the house. We just did a hell of a series. Y'all make sure y'all check out Kelly Connection. Okay. Uh, I actually traveled to do a podcast with her, a man, phenomenal knowledge and wisdom that we dropped out. So make sure y'all go over there. Carson, I'm not going to hold you any much longer. Thank you. Thank you so much, Queen. Mm -hmm. um, thank you I for coming to the palace and just, just standing 10 toes down in your chair. <laughs> no problem. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. All right. So, y'all, it's been a hell of a show. I mean, if you want to come up, I can leave the line open for like 10 minutes. Um, if anybody wants to just come up and give their thoughts, post interview wrap up and just tell me what you think. Um, and this is not a question. This is just you sharing your thoughts. I'll give you each 90 seconds each. I'll take the first five. The link is in the chat. I think she did a good job overall. This girl is not so, I mean, this is not a social media person. That's a full-time cast at Love and Marriage Huntsville. It is not easy to sit here and do um, what she did tonight, point blank, whether you like it or not, it's hard showing up under that amount of pressure, that amount of scrutiny, because at the end of the day, we all walk away with our thoughts, right? Whether we believe it or not, but you all did a hell of a job being respectful in the palace. Cheers to you all. I just opened up the link. I feel like she did a hell of a job. Come up, give me your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Did you like the interview? Is there a question you wish we could have asked? Um, where there's still like some gaps or whatever. Can we move on from this? Where are we? I'll give it about 30 more seconds. My dogs are still wrestling in the back. I'll hold on for a few more seconds. All right, Joy R. Oh, welcome to the stage. Hi, Queen Shiva. Thank welcome. you for bringing me up. Absolutely. Well, you did a phenomenal job with this interview. You asked the right questions. You were respectful. And I also think the young lady Carson did a phenomenal job. Um, there's this saying that says truth pushed down will always rise to the top. And I think that's what happened this evening. She spoke, well, what I perceive, she spoke very truthfully and honestly. And I think that we can move forward. I think what needed to happen, happened. So I just wanted to commend you on um, the interview that you had this evening. Look, you got me smiling from ear to ear like I just won an award, honey. And I'm not trying to hide it. <laughs> well, so we, we're going to need a video of what that snack plate was. We didn't get to see it, but we could tell it was good. You know what? It's on my Instagram, y'all. Go to my story, Queen Sheba Darling on Instagram. And I posted it. I, I got a little meat and cheese from Sam's. And then I went to Aldi because I like their spicy salami, salami uh, slices. Okay. I got some cheese and crackers. And I was just eating like it was the last supper. Well, listen, I'm going to have my little cheese and crackers for next time. <laughs> okay, yes. We got to do this again. You know what? Next time we're going to do ladies night. So oh, stay tuned for ladies that. night. Okay. 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 Well, you have a great night, Queen Sheba. All right. Thank you, Joy. Welcome to the stage. Keys. I lost you earlier. Welcome, Queen. Hi, Queen Darling. I think you did a great job facilitating. I did have another question. I did want to know... How would she feel if the roles were reversed? Would she be side-eyeing herself if she was in Melody's shoes? I mean, okay, she came up and stood 10 toes down for what she believed in. Um, that's okay. If you want to call me a melometer, I'll be a glorified melometer because I'm 10 toes down for melody, money-making Melody. Yes. Um, I won't be watching um, Love and Marriage Detroit. Just my personal opinion. Melody's not on it, so I, I really don't care. But I, I really did want to know, um, how would she feel if this ever happened to her or if she was in Melody's shoes? Something she was saying, okay, I could agree with to, to a certain degree. But it, it's still some um, questions I have. Granted, I'm not her. I'm not Melody. I don't know any of them. You know, I just uh, support the people that I love supporting and the people who show love and light, which, of course, is Melody Cherie. But um, the way she came in, in my opinion, which I'm allowed, is suspect to me. I didn't appreciate it and I didn't like it. I mean, OK, she was doing Letitia's hair, um, then stopped doing her hair. 
Then you told Letitia some business. Um, Letitia held that, but nobody reached out to Mel until afterwards, until um, the internet was in the uproar. I mean, that's just suspect to me. I don't like it and I don't appreciate it. Regardless if she was Arion's friend or not, I mean, if you were a real woman, you're a wife, quote unquote wife, you're a mother, how would you feel if this happened to you? Period, point blank. And I didn't like it. And you know what? It's That's perfectly okay because that's what we do in the palace. And also, you remember yeah. Melody always says her mellow meters are what? Critical thinkers. That's right. We push back. We have open dialogue. We agree to disagree. But in Carson's defense, she did say, looking back, she wished she would have done things differently as a wife. Yeah, she did say that. But you know yeah. what? Queen darling, my dear, should have, would have cut her. Don't care. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Okay. That's, fair. that's why I love y'all because we keep it real. I mean, yes. it's what it is. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate Thank you, you so coming up much. Here. And I, I look, you. I look to see more of you in the future because you do a great job. I was Thank on that. You. I was in that chat with that other panel, and you were doing a daggone thing. I had to hit you in your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Keep prospering. <laughs> All right. Thank All you. Right. And drop yourself down. Cinnamon Swirl, welcome okay. to the stage, Queen. You got 90 seconds. What's on your mind? Good evening. Excellent job. I love it. You are so professional. You're a superstar. Um, I was not convinced prior to seeing this interview, but she did convince me. And I do believe she was telling the truth. But I also believe it's a setup from the Scots. I really do believe that Tisha, Marshall, and Carlos set this up, set her up to fail and used her as a scapegoat. What would be the benefit? Um, I believe that Tisha wants, Tisha thinks that this is going to embarrass Mel. Anything coming out there about Mel to Tisha is embarrassment. And I believe that Marceau wants to get Martel back, which I say you get him, but leave Mel out of it. I think that's fair. I think that's and fair. I, and Love and Edge Detroit, I will never look at. I love Bell Collective, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait to day four to look at it, because at this point, I refuse to support Carlos King at all. Hey, it is what it is over here. Carlos, if yes. that's you or your representative in the chat or a fake or whatever, they mad at you. You may want to stand up and make a public statement because you lose a number yeah. in a minute. I will look at Huntsville for mail, but as far as anything, Carlos King, and I love Bell Collective, but on day four, I will look at it so he gets no credit. And as far as I'm concerned, we need to boycott Love and Marriage Detroit. All right. Well, thank you for coming up, Cinnamon. You're I'll welcome. You soon. Good night. All right. Good night, Sharon. Welcome to the stage. Queen, you got 90 seconds. What's on your mind? Hello. Um, I like the interview. You did a great job. And I love the when you sit and said, think about it, people. If you work in corporate America, will you tell all your business out there at first? So, you know, I understand what she did. Uh, I like the fact that she did notify um, Tisha who she knew. Yeah, I mean, everything she did was correct. You know what I'm saying? In that sense. Um, I think that we, I think that it's a, this is a, a, um, a learning lesson for people jumping on different lives and get caught up in people um, conversation. You know, and you do not know who is actually watching you. And that person might have a different uh, outlook on you. So like when she was on earlier on live, she was talking, you know, and she, you know, she was, and she was listening to what she was saying and trying to help her out during her talk. This is what she's saying, right? So I think that, I think that people need to learn from that lesson because sometimes you get, get, you can get caught up in someone else's life. And then that person, you know, um, can contact you some way and hold conversation with you, become friend, free friend you, and you really don't know what's really going on. So I like that. I like that conversation. I like that. I like the fact that she cleared everything up and her receipts is there. So you know, and I think that in you know back of her head, she might have think that it was set up, but right now she don't see it that way. So I think probably a couple months down the road. She will see it that way. 
All that's right. all. Thank you, Sharon. You know, I always appreciate your thought leadership when you come up. You always join us for Wednesday morning coffee talk, Sundays when we do our members live. So thank you so much, Queen. We appreciate you and I will see you soon. All right. Good night. All right. Good night. Next up we have, hold on y'all, because I can't see. Stephanie, am I going out of order? No, Stephanie English, welcome. You got 30, I mean, 90 seconds, Queen. What are your thoughts? Post It'll take up. less than that. Thank you for the show. I was so upset with her <laughs> before I looked at this slide. And I, I think she did the best that she could. And I think she learned a lot from being in this chat, more so than some other chats that I've listened to with her. So I appreciate, you know, you doing this with her and I appreciate everybody in the comments. I, like I said, I was really upset at first, but I understand. Thank you. That's all. No, thank you for coming up. You have a great night. You guys, my, too. Do my dogs are still wrestling in the bed. Like, stop. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Courtney Clark, what's on your mind? Hi, I just want to say this is my first time on your show, on your panel, um, asking questions. I just want to say you did an amazing job. I mean, I'm hooked. You did an amazing job. You facilitated so well. You were unbiased. And then whatever question anyone asks, I feel like you didn't pass judgment on anyone's question. You allowed everyone to ask their questions. And it did seem like it got some resolve because you weren't like a you weren't sitting here like, OK, this is how I feel about this situation. So that question is not, you know, it was you did it very classy. Um, I do want to say I came in with a thought. Um, I was the one I asked her a question because I came in with the mindset, um, a threat in any capacity, especially as women, we have to remember a threat, a threat in any capacity. Let's not wait for it to be carried out before we speak up. If, if you have to just send a DM, I know you don't know me, but hey, this is some information I have, do with it what you may, you know, but let's speak up for each other. Because, you know, we don't want to be privy to information and then it gets out. But I do think Carson did allow me to change my perspective about her. Um, I do think that this is a learning experience for her. Um, a lot of people are saying give her grace. So I am extending grace. Oh, wow. And um, um, I hope that she I truly hope that she did really learn a lesson from this. Um, this live was great. And just thank you for your time and for your uh space opening your spaces no thank you you know what i thank you for just saying i i felt some kind of way before this interview however after hearing this interview i can extend grace i hope it's a learning lesson for her because at the end of the day what love and marriage the, the concept that melody put out there was black excellence and when we are able to pivot you we only know what we know when we know it right but after hearing someone and get a, getting a better feel, I love the fact that you say, you know what, I can hold a space for her and give her grace. Because that's what it's all about at the end. When people exactly. say, what is the end goal? I think the end goal is to come together. Exactly. And I have one more point. I forgot and I'm dropping down. Sure. And I just want us, everybody in the chat, remember that we are all team male, regardless of how we feel about Carson, this or that. You Nine times out of 10, all of us in the chat are mostly team male and we're you know rooting for this woman for peace comfort and prosperity and to get to the other side so even if somebody is not saying the exact statement that you are saying or thinking that's not your enemy like we're allowed to think differently but we can all agree that you know we want to see her excel and thank and you again no thank you you when you said I, I i was very open i had to think about like how would melody handle this because i know how i can be y'all hear me give my reviews but i was like this is about melody when we think, of, how can I bridge the gap and keep the main thing the main thing, right? If yeah. Melody said, I am giving Carson grace, and I understand from point A to point Z, every move she made her thought process, and you know what? I co-sign her coming to me, or I, it's okay with me, whenever she felt the courage to do so. Who am I to go against that? Does that make sense? Plenty of sense. You, uh, you did amazing. You did uh, you. absolutely amazing. Thank, Thank you, you, Queen. You have a good night. You too. Okay, so the pretty in pink, welcome. 
You may be muted. Oh, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome. What are your thoughts about tonight's interview? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. What are your thoughts? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome. What are your thoughts about tonight's can interview? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Oh, you my. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome. What are your thoughts? Okay, I think you're on. <laughs> oh, you, me. You, got, you got two things playing. Take your time. So you want to mute one okay, of them. <laughs> it's an echo. It's, it's an echo. So you got to mute one of your devices. You want to mute one of them. It's an echo. It's, it's an echo. Yeah, it's a, it's a really bad. It's a really bad echo. Um, okay, how about now? Can you hear me? Yay, you did it. Can you hear it. me? Yeah. Okay, great. So my thing that I wanted to say was, first and foremost, I wanted us to remember that this is a reality show. Um, and then I want to take it to a little bit of the legalities of it all. No one comes on television without signing off on something. And you just don't sign off on something within 24 hours or something. So someone knows that they're going to be on a show uh, maybe a couple of days, maybe a week in advance, I'll give them that. So everyone knew who was going to be at that tea party. So let's just stop that. Um, so it just is what it is. Now, did they know who she was? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but what I do know and what I do remember is uh, Melody putting out that post about revenge porn. And so for her to come back all these months later and say something about that, we know that there is some validity to that. Um, to what extent, who knows? Nevertheless, um, how did she get on the show? Who approached her? She just didn't fall on the show. She just didn't dress up and come on the set. Someone had to talk and sit with her and let her know, okay, fine, you're going to be here. This is this, that, and the other. So what I'm trying to say in, in just bottom line is, it's reality TV, but nevertheless, please remember that it's scripted and it's staged, no matter how much they try to tell us that it's not. Um, I like Carson. I don't know what's going to come of her from this or what have you, but I like her. And I like the stance that she's taking and I like the way that she's coming in. And if Melanie came out to um, co-sign her in any little way, then that means that, you know, Melanie wants her to win in some type of way. So it just is what it is. And I'm just looking forward to it. And I just, you know, want it to be what it's going to be. But the fact that we found out the tape that he was really going to do that that was just so diabolical to the point where it is just <laughs> breathtaking. And so, um, yeah, I, I gained more respect for Melody today than I think I've ever had listening to her on her live. And so I just want us to think about that. And I know we got a lot of millimeters going in so hard on her and not all millimeters think the same way. We wouldn't do the same things. I get that. Nevertheless, we all want the best for Melody, but you know we don't want to be a, a thorn in her side and we don't want to be part of her demise. So let's just be really careful about what we do and what we say as Melamedias. We love her, we can pray for her, we can cover her, and it is what it is. And Carson is one of those blessings that we probably prayed up. It came at the right time, it is what it is. And we heard about this months ago, so we know she's not lying. So, um, yeah, to God be the glory and let everything work out the way that it's supposed to. Thank All you, right. Shiva. I love you. Thank you, hon. Mwah. You have a good night and thank you for coming up. We appreciate you. I'm going to drop you down so you don't have to do all that extra work, okay? <laughs> all right. Welcome to the stage. GH Sobers, you got 90 seconds a lot. They say don't give them a sermon, girl. They just want you to give some thoughts to the interview. <laughs> what are your thoughts? They don't want nobody preaching tonight. So what are your thoughts? <laughs> the interview was great. I really think that young lady would have been phenomenal on Love and Marriage on still. Um, she has a family. She's a go-getter. She has a business. And she doesn't seem to be so involved 
with the um, internet chatter and the social media chatter. And, um, you know, people got to understand, like, yeah, we follow the show. Where we may listen to the blogs and different things, but everybody may not be that. You know, she may not have the time to know that, you know, last summer Mel posted something about revenge porn. You know, she doesn't know. And <clears throat> one thing I've learned is to not judge people so harshly based on what I would have done. You know, some people don't have the same thought process as everybody else. And, you know, like the last caller said, Mel co-signed her. So just leave it be. It, you know, it, it's okay. Which I think she did it the right way and everything that happened, happened the right way. Nobody can't come back and say male did this. That's the thing. They think male does everything. Nobody can come back and say, see, male did this. Male had her hand in this. Male didn't even know what was going on. Yes, male knew about revenge porn, but male did not know that um, Martel was going to have his mistress set up a fake page and do all that. That's hurtful as hell. So I'm glad Carson came out. I'm glad Carson said something about it. And I'm just, hopefully this can die down. And, you know, Mel can just be left alone and, 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 and move on and live in, in some peace. Ugh, this is, it's just too much. It's just too much. That's it. That's all. But you did wonderful, Queen Sheba. I hope most bloggers <laughs> take after you. Study this interview on how to be fair and balanced and not let your interviewee feel like they're being attacked. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. DH, uh, DH Sabres. God bless you, Queen. I know you probably got to get work, get uh, get ready for work. Yes. But it's Friday, so you stayed up a little bit late with the palace. So <laughs> Have a good night. All right, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Roberta, welcome to the <laughs> stage. Look at you, the final. The you gonna wrap? You gotta close us out tonight. <laughs> wow, that's no no pressure, right? No pressure. Um, I thought it was an excellent, excellent interview. Kudos to you. Oh, my goodness. I wish I had some kind of award to shoot to you. Um, I enjoyed uh, the conversation. I think uh, I knew from day one when I heard uh, Carson that she was telling the truth. And then after I, I was on with Mills and how Mel was talking, I believed Mel, of course, because she Mel through it so she said yeah everything she says she's not lying about anything you know she's not she's telling the truth and so I feel that's that's the reprieve that was needed for for Carson now I will say uh, that I know there's a lot of people even the people that I talked to about the show they say oh yeah I think something going on this I think Carson did this I think she meant this and this I'm gonna tell you my for two years I didn't know uh, my husband, my ex-husband was dating a coworker, but people I knew knew, but they didn't tell me. So they did say they didn't know how to tell me. So you don't never know why a person not going to say something. I don't think I would really feel comfortable just saying, hey, you know, but anyway, yeah. job. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Thank you so much for allowing me to come up. No, thank you so much for having the courage to come up. I know sometimes it's hard, y'all. People don't understand how hard it is. And you're on camera, right? And it's hard because you're thinking and you're looking at yourself and all of that. It's a lot that goes into play with this. But listen, thank you so much. I look forward to you tuning in more, having the courage to come up more. We're going to be talking a little bit about everything. So okay. we got Ladies Night coming up. Uh, probably in a couple of weeks. I want all y'all to come up for Ladies Night. It's more of a happy hour feel. We talk about hot topics. We may do some truth to dare where I may have you call somebody on live and you know what <laughs> you just never know. But it's it's always a it's always a, a really positive and good time. So thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right. You have a good night. Good night. Jay, welcome to the stage, Queen. What's on your mind? They say give us 90 seconds or they hang in there with you, Jay. They already being hard on you. <laughs> can you hear me? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, great. I promise 90 seconds or less. Um, I don't have anything else to say about the interview. I thought it was great. I thought Carson did a heck of a job because she was getting daggers left, right, and sideways, and her story stayed the same. My question is to us as queens, 
what can we do moving forward? This is a heinous act that has been done. And I hope that we'll turn the focus more on not what Carson said, but what was actually done. That's a good question. Let's pose it to the chat as, as a community. Cause we got some Kings too. We got a lot of Kings that support Melody. So as Queens and Kings, this, what can we do? This is a very, very disturbing revelation. Yes. What can we do to come together as a community and rally around what's right? Yes. Whether it's Melody or anybody, this is or right anybody. versus wrong. Yes. What can we do y'all? What should we do? Can we and petition? that is the question that Jay is posing. Is that right, yes. Jay? Yes. Can we petition? I already, I don't watch the show anymore. Um, so what what else can we do? What can we put our name behind? How can we make this better? We talk about how can we make some noise. Yeah, how can Where we it make some noise? How can we make some noise? And, go, and, go to old page. Flood it. We we talk about what we do, what we don't like. Flood it. Tell them you demand change. Use your voice. Go over there. Can go we, on Twitter at, at own, go to Instagram, tear them up, but be respectful and say, we demand change. This is not reflective of our community. This is not reflective of the relationships that we, we, we have. This is not reflective, reflective of the black men that we know. We need you to address this immediately, or we will continue to speak out. Agreed. Agreed. What are your okay. thoughts? I, I agree. I 100% agree. And I hope we get like the right email addresses and just the right people to really make the right noise to who can really make some changes. Um, and thank you so much for your time. I'll let you go. Have a great evening. Let your dogs enjoy you a little bit. <laughs> you see them in the background? Yep. I see them in the background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, thank, you. thank you. You have a good night. You too. All right. Desi Ma, welcome to the stage. Hello, thank, thank you for inviting me. It's been a long time since I've actually been on anyone's chat about this show because I don't watch it anymore. I chime in in the comment section on YouTube based on what I see on social media because this has become rabid. Some of these fans have become rabid. I really enjoyed the way you handled yourself in this interview. Uh, you were very unbiased. You allow her to speak. She actually said the same thing several times and people were still in the chat People got to understand. I don't trust. They're saying I don't trust her. It's not for you to trust her. Get the scoop. Just get the scoop and then move accordingly. It's for Melody. It's not for you. It's nothing that you can do. It's for Melody. Yeah. And as I say all the time, some things are just a setup for you to be blessed. It looks. It may look like a plot on one end, but it was just a blessing in disguise. Melody already knew this. She just didn't know to what extent that it was going to happen. And that's what Carson came in and provided. You guys are talking about Tisha should have told Melody why. If they're beefing, what? why do you expect that? Because she's a woman? If we know there are male Martells out there, there are also female Martells out there. So you're expecting way too much for these people that have issues with each other. And I'm going to be honest. Depending if I'm beefing with somebody, depending on the level of the beef, I sure. may or may not tell you anything. I might say, Hey, that's your karma. Look, you try to do something to me, this your karma. She, she could have, but you you you're expecting way too much for these people on this particular show. The girl blessed everybody, she blessed Melody by coming forward, and everybody said, I don't trust her because she could have told Melody, listen, this this was the best way to come out. It did not look bad for Melody at all. This shined a light on Martell, whatever business endeavors, and Carlos. I said a long time ago, Carlos should have been fired seasons ago. And this also puts a spotlight on Ariane, which we already know she'll write with fat pencils and crayons anyway. <laughs> but, uh, and some of these fans do too. But I appreciate this. I appreciate the way you handled this. And this was the best place for her to come to. And I hope more people oh, wow. that's on this show can get a fair opportunity to express themselves. We can agree to disagree how we feel about them, but let them have that opportunity. And I thank you for that. No, thank you. Uh, they think you're Letitia. I don't think she's Letitia. Hey, I think we know listen, Letitia's listen, voice. Listen, listen. <laughs> I used to come on, um, what's her name? She's out of Memphis. Um, the, the conversation with Sean. I used to come on her show all the time, but this got too rabbit. These people, listen. Well, hold I'm on, that is not listen. that is not my belief. This is hold on because you. Oh, I don't I, want people listen, to say that. Listen, come on, because us bloggers listen, are together now. You can't right. get me in trouble. 
Listen, I'm with the smoke. We can go. At, I used to go at it. I'm not Letitia. I used to come in conversation with Sean, but it just became too much. People. Oh, I got you. Take the show, leave the show. We know what's going on, but I used to be on Melody up to a point with Melody to a point. I've said that Melody should have got a restraining order against him a long time ago because I saw that behavior before. This ain't brand new. This was stuff that he was doing in the beginning of their marriage. I used to say this all the time. So I'm not Letitia because I don't like the Scots. I just see right down the middle, middle, and I can be fair on both sides. Okay, and, and I think and I'm with the smoke, so they, they don't bother me at all. I mean, you you can call me, <laughs> I don't want to destroy your old panel because I it can get ignorant down here. But I'm just <laughs> no, here. we don't want you to do that. Exactly. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, Desi Ma. You have all a right. good night, honey. All right. Okay, so someone posted a uh, uh, slick. You're up next. So somebody said, uh, I cannot remember y'all. What uh, ah, I forgot her name. She just left. What can we do? What can we do? This is this is what we can do. Melody told y'all to get the Melometer shirt. I just put the link in the chat. And she's we're gonna wear those shirts on the day that she tells it to. We can make some noise by by just collective. There is strength in numbers. So I put the link in the chat where you can go to Melody's master class, order your Melometer shirt, pink or black. And if you're a man, get your mom one, get your daughter one, get your sister one, your cousin, your coworker. If you know they are a mellow meter, surprise them. It could be a random act of kindness and be like, hey, I got you a shirt. I know you watched the show. So that's a great start. All right, Slick. Oh, welcome to the stage. What are you Good thoughts? evening, Queen. Can you hear me? Yeah, welcome. <laughs> um, I just love you. And you did an outstanding job with the interview. Just want to let you know. Um, and I also want to say, I, you know, as a millimeter, I did get my shirt. I have it. And um, I know that we all want to protect Mel because she has been betrayed and um, treated so horribly on the show. But I also would like everyone to take into consideration um, that this young lady, you know, she was put in a tough position, okay? Martel is victimizing women all across the board. Um, and she, I'm not going to say she's a victim in this, but she is not the one who wanted to put this tape out here. She didn't come up with this idea. This was plotted by um, Martel and maybe Ariane, and she decided not to go along with it. And like another person said previously, you don't know how people will react when you tell them something. You don't know if they may get upset, they may get violent, they may run up, you don't know what they may do. She did what she thought was best and I don't think she had any ill intent. And I feel like, well, I'm going to show her some grace. I'm not gonna blame her for something that she did not plot to do. This was not her idea. She chose not to go along with it. She chose to step aside and she really going into a situation, you don't know what's going on with these people. You don't know the depths of what's going on and she, like I, I will step back and just assess the situation before I do anything or say anything. You don't know if Ariane is crazy and she's just talking crazy. Like she did what she felt was best. And I feel like we just shouldn't attack her. You know, that's all I wanted to say. Okay. You should, oh, let me ask this and I'm not being facetious. Do you feel like we should not attack Ariane? No, no, no. I was talking about, um, Carson, not Ariane. Okay, gotcha. Carson. <laughs> no, not Ariane. <laughs> Ariane um, has done some horrible things, and I feel no sympathy for Ariane at all. All right. Well, thank you so much, Slick. I'm glad <laughs> you were able to be patient and wait it out and come up You're and share welcome. your thoughts. Anything else you want to close us out with as it relates to community, Black excellence, some of the things that Melody is doing outside of the show? Anything that you feel like would be valuable? to add as you close us out? Um, just that as women, I know that we want to uh, support each other, but I also feel like we need to show each other grace. And, and you know, Mel has always said that she doesn't want anyone to side with anyone else because of her. She says that she wants people to get to know Tisha or whoever for themselves. So I feel like we should do the same thing, get to know people for ourselves and not just side with people just because we love Melody so much. Thank you. So yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think, I think that's a great note to end on. Stay curious, y'all. Everybody mm -hmm. has a story and everybody has a why. 
stay curious, ask questions. When you don't understand if it's something that you would not do, instead of attacking, ask questions, stay curious, be mindful. We're all different. You know what I'm saying? We all have a different uh, fingerprint, blueprint, thought, ideology about the way we handle things. But at the end of the day, put yourself in that other person's shoes. And I, I know I'm probably sounding like Mother Teresa because y'all know I go in on my reviews. But at the end of the day, what's the end goal? What's the end goal? And that's just to come together. The same thing that we're asking Carlos King and Own Network to do, to keep it positive and to exploit Black excellence. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Good night.